we take at home truly is going to show what this team could hopefully be capable of going into Big 12 play. Well, Do you think uh, Green may end up being the starter? Because I said that's what I was going to bring. I was actually going to bring up that because you brought buy up a home in the yesterday on the show. Having and trouble I was like, getting in my head, I want to get Colin sold, McLaughlin's thoughts on this. Then call Chris the Ross and the Milestone Real Estate Group at Keller Williams. A Martinsburg High School graduate, Chris knows the local market, and he's proven it as the number one real estate team in West Virginia in 2019. Milestone Real Estate Group at Keller Williams. Phone 304-579-7349 or go to callchrisross.com. Let's celebrate your real estate milestone together. This is Eric at Hagerstown Ford. Over the last decade, the way we buy things have evolved. Now, you get on your phone, click Want It, and it shows up at your front door. At Hagerstown Ford, it is that convenient. We've changed the car buying experience on the I-81 corridor forever. And with a return policy better than Walmart, there's absolutely no reason to buy a new or used car, truck, or SUV anywhere else. Just like Amazon, Hagerstown Ford will deliver the vehicle to you, where you are, and on your time. And if you don't want it, return it, no questions asked. Why waste your time at a car dealership playing the dumb back and forth games? Besides, we hate it more than you do. I assure you, no dealership from Winchester, Virginia to Washington, D.C. will beat our price. No dealership from Chambersburg, Pennsylvania to Baltimore, Maryland will beat our price. And no other dealership will allow you to return it if you don't want it. Hagerstown Ford absolutely provides the best experience at the best price. Visit HagerstownFord.com to schedule your VIP experience. Click on the vehicle you want and get your new ride delivered to you at no risk. See dealer for details. Let's talk trash, because when it comes to trash, you have options. Panhandle Dumpsters is a local family-owned garbage hauling company serving both residential and commercial customers with weekly trash pickup, dumpster service, yard waste pickup, and ball pickups, too. Panhandle Dumpsters will give you a free trash can and provide curbside service for just $23 a month. Panhandle Dumpsters features a fleet of quieter, eco-friendly garbage trucks, thereby reducing the noise usually associated with pickup. Switch now and save up to 30%. Call 833-DUMP-STR, panhandledumpsters.com. Erie Insurance says here's to the grown-ups who move, mortgage, mow, and still bust a move. But does your home insurance still fit? Erie helps you protect the home you've grown into, all at fair prices that are often less than the other guys. So how do you find the right coverage? Magic. Nope. Local independent agents who get to know you like this. Your local Erie agent in Martinsburg is Smallwood and Small Insurance. Get a quote at smallwoodandsmall.com. Erie Insurance. It's time for the excitement of West Virginia High School Volleyball featuring the Eastern Panhandle Athletic Conference. Tonight's coverage is brought to you by WVU Medicine East, Berkeley and Jefferson Medical Center, Hagerstown Ford, Brown Funeral Homes and Cremations, Robert Fields and Sons, Parsons Ford, Panhandle Dumpsters, and Smallwood and Small Insurance. Now let's send it out to the broadcast booth and join our TV10 broadcast team for tonight's coverage. House for tonight's high school volleyball action in the state of West Virginia. It is the Martinsburg Bulldogs taking on the Spring Mills Cardinals in Eastern Panhandle Athletic Conference action. This is Colin McLaughlin alongside me. Is Nick Verzellini tonight, Jim Klein on vacation, enjoying Myrtle Beach. Cameramen for tonight are John Alderton and Donald Kinney. It'll be JV and freshman action going on first here in 15 minutes exactly. And after that, it'll be varsity action. We will be doing the varsity game as well as the JV game and just uh, look at the score at least for freshmen throughout the entire time. But here in 14 minutes, 40 seconds, it'll be JV action directly in front of us. As you can see on TV 10, it will be Martinsburg and Orange, Spring Mills and Red. Let me welcome in my broadcast partner, Nick Verzellini, for the first time here on WRNR. You get to announce uh, volleyball. Are you excited, Nick? I am excited, Colin. This is the first time that I'll also do a sport, well, a game broadcast with you. Obviously, we've appeared on the sports mix, so you know, that's exciting as well, but I do have big shoes to fill. The volleyball legend, Jim Klein, so I will certainly uh, try to do my best. You know, not, we're very excited because EPAC action, 
always exciting. It's, it's been uh, good so far on TV10, so I think we'll have some good matches here tonight. And, of course, you know, for this first game, too, we'll have ninth grade on one side. We'll have JV on the other. So we'll maybe give a few updates on the JV score or on the ninth grade score while we're doing the JV game. But, obviously, you know, these are two teams in the EPAC that want to compete. They want to try to prove that they can be – you know, as good as a team like Musselman is. And I think uh, that's, you know, this is one of those steps toward that tonight. Yeah, it is. And it'll be interesting to see how tonight plays out because Spring Mills will be searching for its first win of the year. Right now they are 0-4 in varsity action and 0-2 in section play. They've lost so far to Musselman and Hedgesville and they're, other two losses were Philip Barber as well as, let me look here. Looks like they've played Musselman twice. I might have accidentally mistyped that, so I'll have to look back online. But as for Martinsburg, they're coming off a uh, win that we saw last week on Thursday. It was their senior night against Berkeley Springs. They won that one by a score of three sets to nothing. So that was a pretty impressive one for them. As we are about 12 minutes or so away from JV action, which is set to start around 2, excuse me, 6 o'clock. So we'll take a two-minute break right now, and then we'll be back to go more in-depth about both teams. Two-minute break. This is West Virginia High School Volleyball on WRNR TV, Comcast Channel 10, and WRNR TV on YouTube. Carpal tunnel syndrome affects 13 million Americans and left untreated can cause long-term debilitation. WV Medicine Jefferson Medical Center recently became the first hospital in the region to offer carpal tunnel release with ultrasound guidance using the new Sonex Health SX1 Microknife. CTR surgery is an outpatient procedure and most patients return to normal activities within three to six days. For more info, contact WV Medicine Board Certified Orthopedic Surgeon Brad Wright at 304-725-2663. The Palace Lounge in Martinsburg offers hand-cut, locally sourced steaks, fresh seafood, and sandwiches with great daily specials like 75-cent wings all day Monday, prime rib on Tuesday, New York strip on Wednesday, and chef specials every Friday and Saturday. Ask for the lunch punch card and have lunch on the Palace Lounge on Edwin Miller Boulevard. And don't forget the Big Apple Lounge on Sater Drive in Inwood. W. Harley Miller Systems understands the need and desire for reliable and affordable smart home solutions. Secure your home with a security system and keep a close eye on your family. Automate your home with a Control 4 system and have smart technology work as one. Set daily schedules to control your thermostats. Push a button and set the mood for dinner by dimming lights and playing music, or just sit back and enjoy a movie in your own home theater. Put decades of experience to work for you. Visit us at whmsystems.com or call 304-350-1931. If you're in an accident, the first thing that you have to do is call 911. You have to get medical care immediately. The next thing you need to do is call us. When you hire us at the Skinner Law Firm, what we do is we are gonna investigate your case, and we're gonna lay out the options that you have, all at no cost to you. We will use all of our resources and all of our experience to get you what you deserve. That's what we mean by treating you like family. Martinsburg Bulldogs and the visiting Spring Mills Cardinals. Colin McLaughlin here alongside me is Nick Verzellini. Cameramen tonight are Donald Kinney and John Alderton. Back at the studio is Spencer Dupuy. We apologize for some technical difficulties going on right now. I know we had a echo a little bit earlier with our audio. Hopefully that is all fixed and we should be able to hopefully give you a uh, great broadcast of EPAC volleyball tonight as hopefully it's a Great matchup as usual because last year, even though Martinsburg leads the all-time series, Nick, 10 wins, 5 losses, and 1 tie, they actually split last year's series varsity-wise. Yeah, and this, I think, is a, a hungry Spring Mills team to get a win, right? 0-4 on the year, so trying to get that first win of the season. 0-2 in EPAC play, and they've had some tough matches. So I think, you know, this is an opportunity for them to come out here and 
you know, proved themselves against a Martinsburg team that I still think we don't really know much about because while they are, you know, two and two and are coming off of a nice win over Berkeley Springs, Berkeley Springs is a two A school, so obviously a smaller school means less to pick from and therefore usually less good athletes in the in the building. So I mean, I think this is an interesting matchup. You know, Spring Mills also battled really hard against Hedgesville, but just couldn't uh, come up come out on top in that one. So I, I really do think that this is uh, you know, going to be a great matchup. Yeah, I agree with you, Nick. And I didn't get to talk about it on the sports mix because we ran out of time during the uh, segment, but I want to touch on it now. It's going to be very interesting for the matchup with the coaches, both coaches for Varsity Wise will be first-year coaches in Mike Nelson as well as Ashley Wolf for both teams. So it'll be interesting to see how each one does just being able to tweak things against each other in conference play and see who can get their team to, I guess, have the uh, fewest mistakes. And most likely that will probably be the deciding factor in uh, who wins and who loses here tonight for both JV and varsity action. Yeah, being a first-year head coach, especially at the high school and college level, I think is really challenging because you're building a program. You're not just constructing a team, if that makes sense. You know, you can't just go out there and sign a new player. You know, you got to kind of work with what you have and then develop those players, which is different than, you know, going out and, and trying to find your own players. So I think it's, it's a challenge to figure out, you know, scheme, figure out who works wet best and in, in what position. And I think, you know, starting with this JV match, that's really where maybe you maybe have a little bit more focus. Obviously, the varsity you're trying to win, but in terms of player development, you know, that's how you kind of can build your program with the JV team and then work your way up to your bar- varsity program and have, you know, a real solid team there. Yeah, and that's mostly what we see right now with the uh – Martinsburg team as they had a whole bunch of seniors graduate from last year's team and a couple of them are now playing collegiate volleyball however Martinsburg still a very veteran based team nonetheless especially due to the uh, nine seniors on the team that we saw last week against Berkeley Springs for senior night be honored and eight juniors as well so definitely has some uh, classes. We just saw a volleyball hit another volleyball during warm-ups here for Martinsburg. I don't know if you caught that. I caught it out of the corner of my eye. That's Martinsburg skill. serving back and forth. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever seen that happen as they were just serving back and forth yeah, to each other practicing me, that. And this has nothing to do with anything for tonight's game, but you know, we had we were playing some mini golf, and I actually hit my uh, friend's mini golf while it was rolling, or it's golf ball <laughs> while it was rolling. So I thought that was kind of a similar. That is set. pretty cool too, as it went into the stands. Fortunately, it didn't hit anybody, so that's always a uh, positive when it comes to that. So let's take another two-minute break. When we come back, we'll go over both teams' rosters, give our final keys to the JV match, and then hopefully it'll be a time to start as we're about five minutes away from action. Again, a two-minute break. This is West Virginia High School Volleyball on WRNR Comcast Channel 10, WRNR TV on YouTube. Ever try to collect on an insurance claim? Perhaps a homeowner's claim, auto accident, or fire? Insurance companies collect money from you for protection should something bad happen. And Ever try to collect on an insurance claim? Perhaps a homeowner's claim, auto accident, or fire. Insurance companies collect money from you for protection should something bad happen. And when it does, they don't want to pay or they offer too little. At Mansion Ferretti, we have an attorney who worked defending insurance companies and knows all the dirty tricks they play to deny or lowball your claim. Call us today for help in getting what you really deserve. Mansion Ferretti, when you need justice. is everywhere. I'm in your bangs, and you can't stop staring at me. That's it. Just tilt the rearview mirror over here. And while you're checking me out more times in a library book, your car is wandering into that lane over there. More bangs? <laughs> Neat. And if you've got cut rate insurance, you could be paying for this yourself. So get Allstate. Call Martinsburg Allstate agent Gary Kelly today at 304-263-4596.
W. Harley Miller Systems understands the need and desire for reliable and affordable smart home solutions. Secure your home with a security system and keep a close eye on your family. Automate your home with a control force system and have smart technology work as one. Set daily schedules to control your thermostats. Push a button and set the mood for dinner by dimming lights and playing music, or just sit back and enjoy a movie in your own home theater. Put decades of experience to work for you. Visit us at whmsystems.com or call 304-350-1931. Hi, I'm Annette McDonald, and I am the designer at Orsini's in Martinsburg, West Virginia. We welcome you into our store to show you a complete line of what we do here. We design your cabinetry, quartz countertops, granite countertops, hardware, anything for the full remodel of your kitchen and your home needs. We also do bathrooms, and we have flooring available too. We make sure that your project with Orsini's is the best in the market. Welcome to Orsini's. Orsini's.com. Martinsburg Field House. We are inside Martinsburg High School. Three minutes on the dot until JV action between the Martinsburg Bulldogs and the Spring Mills Cardinals. Hello everyone. Colin McLaughlin here. Alongside me is Nick Verzellini. Our cameramen are John Alderton and Donald Kinney. And back at the studio is Spencer Dupuy. Let's now look at the rosters for both teams. I will Start off with the visiting Spring Mills Cardinals, and then Nick, you can uh, follow with Martinsburg's after that. First, number one, Jaden Junkin. Number three, Maddie McDaniel. Number four, Emma Jones. Number five, Jocelyn Anders. Number eight, Ava Campbell. Number nine, Kalia Campbell. Number 11, Peyton Dugan. Number 13, Bella Abshire. Number 14, Jocelyn Dupuy. Number 15, Izzy Dozier. Number 18, Georgia Piltong. And then the manager for Spring Mills is Noel Brady. Did you say Dupuy? I think I accidentally said Dupuy because I'm so <laughs> used to it, but I think it's Dupree. Okay. I was hoping we had a Dupuy on the roster. But uh, over to Martinsburg, Halini Chachin. Chachin? Chacon. Chacon. Okay. My bad. Ashlyn Arid, Deja Wright, Valeria Delgado, Kira Rhodes. Amaya Berry, Cameron Sign, Madison Henry, Lily Campbell, Honey Carter, Amber Smorlaski, Courtney Dick, Madgen Rudin, and Maddie Fisher. Yep, those are uh, both teams as we're about a minute 20 from both the JV and freshman matches starting simultaneously here inside the field house. We will be following the JV action directly in front of us, and if a ball comes across from the freshman game, we'll look over there. If we hear anything exciting going on, we'll check up on that and give you a score update on that one as well for those of you tuning in. We hope you enjoy tonight's action between the Martinsburg Bulldogs and Spring Mills Cardinals. It's always fun with EPAC volleyball for sure. It's always been uh, competitive. We already had one EPAC match, and that was Hedgesville Spring Mills that went four sets. Hedgesville did come away with that one, but Spring Mills got the first one, so we know that they can get a rhythm going and definitely be dangerous like they were uh, last year. And as I said, these two teams split the series last year, so it's going to be a fun one here as Spring Mills finishes up their warm-ups. What are your uh, keys? What are you hoping to see here from the teams? I know it's your first time seeing EPAC Volleyball Live, Nick, but and what do you think finds success? Typically, I think, obviously, you want to control the serve. You know, if you can control the serve and, and have the ball in your possession, then that makes it more difficult for the defense because they're adjusting to you. You're not adjusting to them. And then, you know, clean up those little mistakes. You don't want to give teams free points. So, you know, as, as little errors as you can make in a ball game, you know, that certainly uh, helps you succeed. So those are the two things I feel like are kind of generic, but they're also – Always what you want to try to do in volleyball is control the serve and uh, cut out the errors. Couldn't agree with you more, Nick, as we have both teams just going in their huddles with their coaches, getting their final game notes, and then we'll be uh, starting the JV match between Martinsburg and Spring Mills. And it is a best two out of three for JV action. So the first one to win two sets, both of them typically – to 25 unless you get to the third then I believe it is 15 and then varsity would be a best 3 out of 5 situation 
So we wait for everybody to get situated and the officials to get into their spots. We'll do the best that we can as we have two matches going on simultaneously. You'll sometimes see a ball go into the other court or somebody have to quickly run over. Also, since it's vertical instead of horizontal on the basketball court like you will see during the varsity action later on, it's kind of hard to see the lines on the court. So we'll do the best that we can for ins and outs if you... Uh, can see closely on our TV and YouTube uh, broadcast those little blue right angles on the court. You see one in between the U and the L near us and one over in the uh, three-point line range. That's actually the corners of the uh, volleyball in and out. And after that, it's really hard to tell because of the color of the uh, wood. So we'll do the best that we can, and most likely we'll just have to look at the officials and you think they hope that they're correct. Tape something down the whole way across. I don't know, Nick. I, I agree with you, but then you just have to pull it back up during varsity, and guess, that might yeah. take too long. And also during basketball, you don't want to get little yeah. sticky spots, I guess, on it. And we'll get started. It looks like Martinsburg, who's in the orange, will be serving first. Served directly on the near side, and an ace goes to the Bulldogs by Amaya Berry, making it one to nothing for Martinsburg. Colin, unless I'm missing something, do I have the, yeah. We don't have a number zero on the, or that's number one, my bad. Yeah, it's definitely hard to tell, especially with uh, ponytails and everything <laughs> going on, or pigtails sometimes will uh, help, but definitely difficult from the back is this serve. Another ace goes to Martinsburg with Amaya Berry making it two to nothing. This looks very similar to what I saw in the Hedgesville Spring Mills JV match. You know, Spring Mills wasn't really moving up and playing the ball, kind of letting the ball come to them. And early on, that's cost them two early points. Comes the third serve by Berry, and that one's going to go way to the back line and out. And it's always fun during the JV matches here at Martinsburg since they play vertically. Typically, we get to see how the ball actually moves. Sometimes it'll knuckle, sometimes it'll curve, just the spin and everything. Definitely a very unique perspective as here is it's a line drive for the serve by Spring Mills. It gets tipped back over to the Cardinal side. It's bumped up and a free ball back over to Martinsburg now. So that's up to the far side. Kill opportunity dug out by Spring Mills. That one gonna be a deep free ball. Staying alive by Carter. Back over to the near side, and it's going to go into the stands. Getting the point for Martinsburg was Madigan Runyon. I believe yeah, that went off the hands of uh, Peyton Dugan for Spring Mills. Yeah, really good uh, volley back and forth between the two teams. Uh, Martinsburg, though, does take the advantage and now at 3-1. to one. Now serving for Martinsburg's Courtney Dick. She sets up right in the middle of the court and serves it directly over. Dodger Wright tries to go with the block. It goes off her and down onto the court, making it 3-2. Martinsburg still leads, but Spring Mills has the serve. Those are always the tough ones to play, Colin, when they just hit off the top of the net and fall in. You know, it, it's a weird angle. You're kind of uncertain whether or not it's going to fall in or, or stay on the other side of the court. And sometimes that can be tough to read. And that, there you see kind of the hesitation by Martinsburg. Ava Campbell on to serve now for Spring Mills. 3 to two's your score, and hers looked like it was going to go a little bit into the middle and just curve left and out. So Martinsburg now leads 4-2, to two and they will serve. Dodger right on to serve for the Bulldogs. She's also going to line up directly in the middle of the court and serve that one over the line, and it looks like it stayed in. I was looking at the wrong line at first. Yeah, I did so, that too. Because I saw the... Uh, lighter colored line and I'm so used to looking at that one since it's the uh, varsity volleyball court line so I thought it was out at first but it stayed in between that and the other line and it looks like that one goes under the net making it 5-3 to three now Spring Mills trails by 2 I wonder what kind of adjustment that is for the players I feel like Martinsburg is, obviously has the advantage you know probably practices this way a lot so you know, they know the court a lot better, so I wonder if, you know, playing this way could mess with Spring Mills a little bit in terms of reading balls. So we have some miscommunication there for Martinsburg, Barry and Carter letting it fall in between them. So now Spring Mills only trails 5-4. to four. 
And right as I say that, a uh, very bad service error by Spring Mills. Peyton Dugan giving an easy point to Martinsburg. The score is now 6-4 to four in set number one. Runyon serves it to the back for McDaniel. And a beautiful save by Junkin. And because of it, Spring Mills gets the point. Wow, Junkin diving almost face first into the stands directly below us to get that point eventually for Spring Mills. And she'll now serve. Yeah, she had kind of a tough play to start the match, but they're an excellent effort to keep that alive and allow Spring Mills to get the point. Something you definitely love to see for JV. I don't know if I'd have the courage to go face first towards a uh, set of bleachers like that. And Martinsburg gets the point as failing to recover it is Ava Campbell. The score is now 7-5. to five. Martinsburg with the serve. Yeah, you had a little bit of a miscommunication there. You had about three players kind of in a triangle right around the ball, but nobody played it. And that's stuff that happens at, at this level because, you know, you're still trying to, especially early in the season, kind of get used to each other and how you're going to play certain balls. The serve by Fischl. Martinsburg gets the kill opportunity, and that goes out off the hands of Rhodes, giving the point to Spring Mills, making it 7-6. to six. Pretty good swing there. Just couldn't get it angled where you wanted it, and that results in a Spring Mills point. Serving for the Cardinals is Jones. Hers hard towards that back line and miss hitting it and letting it go behind her. It looks like was Fischl giving the ace to Spring Mills, who ties it up at seven apiece now in set number one. Emma Jones, the server for Spring Mills, directly in the middle. Doesn't really take a hop step as that one goes directly at Fischl. Bumped into the air and over by Martinsburg now to the Spring Mill side. They're going to just have to send a deep free ball back to the back line of the Bulldogs. Kill opportunity, and that's going to go way out to the left side for us. Off Rhodes, Spring Mills takes the lead 8-7 to seven now. Yeah, Martinsburg's doing a nice job of setting up their teammates for the kills, but they just can't place the ball in the right part or in the right spot on the court. Yeah, they're trying to direct it to the sides, but their body position's not helping them out. Let's see if Dick can get this one. She does, but it's dug out by Junkin. Free ball over for Spring Mills. They have to send another free ball over for Martinsburg. Dick off block, gets the point, tied up at eight apiece again between Martinsburg and Spring Mills. Yeah, but Martinsburg has definitely put the pressure on Spring Mills, it seems like in terms of you know, Spring Mills is kind of having to dig a lot of balls out while Martinsburg's kind of run their offense and getting kill opportunities, and that time it, it worked out. An ace for Martinsburg by Kira Rhodes, making it 9-8. to eight. She serves this one over for Junkin now, and she's going to hit that low off the net. Yeah, not, not what you want there to kind of misplay a ball and result in it going into the net. Obviously, you know, Martinsburg, or Spring Mills, excuse me, you know, has been kind of passive on the offensive end. This here's a good opportunity for him. But another nice dig out by Martinsburg and then a block of the net resulting in a Spring Mills point. Thank you for that, Nick. I was, I was just a... Uh, Talking to Donald, making sure that everything was good, doing the best that we can. Apologize as we earlier had some technical difficulties, so we're right now just working with one camera and trying to get a uh, new setup for our score bug as well at the uh, on the screen and linking that up to their scoreboard as it's off the wall here in Martinsburg into the stands. So the score's 11 to 9. The Bulldogs still lead, but the point goes to Spring Mills. One thing also to note, Colin, pretty good crowd on hand uh, for JV and freshman action. I expect you know a lot to bet a lot of that to carry over into the varsity game. Obviously, Martinsburg has these baseline seats too. As an ace for Spring Mills makes it 11 to 10. Serving for the Cardinals is Maddie McDaniel, the libero. 
So this one served right to Honey Carter. Set up, Dodger right, off block. Recovered for McDaniel and the Cardinals. Free ball over by Dugan. Setting it is Barry. Dick tried to get the kill, goes off the net. Tied back up for Spring Mills at 11 apiece between them and the Bulldogs in set number one. Yeah, good effort by Courtney Dick, but she just couldn't play it. Uh, you know, just kind of mistimed it, and that results in the point. And an ace for Spring Mills makes it 12 to 11. Let's see if they can continue in the driver's seat. We haven't had a timeout from either team yet in set number one. Both teams have two timeouts each set. Flipping a lot of back and forth, so no real reason, I guess, to call a timeout. Daniel serves that one. Real runs. Right, gets it over to the Spring Mill side. Junkin sends it over to the Bulldogs. Dodger right off block, diving for it as McDaniel. She misses it. We're tied back up at 12. Typically, you see the timeout, you know, you used to stop a big scoring run. And we really haven't had that since it's been a lot of back and forth. So maybe as we get closer to the end of uh, this first set, we'll probably see one. Back to serve for Martinsburg is the lead server, Amaya Berry. The score is 12 to 12. Yeah, Spring Mills thought that was out but it did hit that back line, or at least the extended back line, kind of hard to tell. The official here on the near side said it was in as Barry gets this one off the net. Point for Spring Mill, so it's actually 13 to 13. It was just a late change, so it was 13 to 12 after that Martinsburg point. Spring Mills just tied it back up. Keeps going back and forth like this. We might have something interesting as it's win by two in the set as well. Yeah. This serve from Spring Mills. Ab Shire goes directly off the top of the net and stays on Spring Mills' side, so the point Martinsburg. I believe this is probably the most competitive JV match we've seen so far in the young uh, EPAC season that we've had on TV10. Definitely agree with you as this one an ace for Martinsburg as they recover it from almost going to the JV court side. And I believe they're in a set number... Freshman. Excuse me, yeah, freshman side. I think they're in set number two as I see a score that says 14-1, to one, and I know earlier is much closer in that. Don't know who's exactly winning that one, though. It's actually 14-7. 14-7. It is hard to, seven, hard to tell from our angle. That is true. So they're still in set number one as it's 15-14 to 14 for our side. Martinsburg wins. Serve for the Cardinals. Ava Campbell on to serve. This one goes over. Courtney Dick calls off Carter. She has to hit it right back up. Runyon just tips it back over for McDaniel. Coming up and hitting it to Dodger Wright, who jumps up over the net, gets it down, and the point goes to Martinsburg. Great heads up play by Dodger Wright, originally going up for a block, thinking that Jones was going to try to get a kill, and instead the ball just floated for her, and she perfectly was able to just tap it down. Right serves. Free ball for Martinsburg now. Official at McDaniel. Runyon. Point, official. Martinsburg makes it 17 to 14. Yeah, that was a great job by Martinsburg kind of keeping the Spring Mills defense moving a lot and then just finding that little hole in the defense on the back uh, right side to get the point. Dodger Wright serves this one coming in and getting it is Ava Campbell. Hit over by Junkin to Wright, goes off her hands. Runyon recovers it and a deep free ball sent by Barry to the Spring Mills Cardinals. Free ball sent to the Bulldogs who almost messed it up. McDaniel, bump back up, and a free ball sent over by Campbell. Runyon finds the middle. Beautiful diving save by Abshire, who's going to get the point. Spring Mills off the net. Great job by Chacon. Campbell, it's probably the most intense volley that we've had. Who's yeah. going to break? It's in the air. Can Martinsburg capitalize? 
Spring Mills gets the point as that one just goes out official. 17 to 15, Martinsburg still leads, but after that long volley, can Spring Mills get a rhythm going and get momentum back into this set? Yeah, I mean, that, that was a really close ball there on that back line. Good job by the officials to get the right call. And they get an ace as it just tips off the net. Trying to recover was Peyton Dugan, but was unable to do so. It's now a one-point set again. Spring Mill still trails 17 to 16. But as we've seen throughout this entire match, it's been back and forth. Yeah, and that was a really incredible volley we had just a few moments ago. You know, both teams diving all over the floor. That's what you like to see. Martinsburg sends it over for Spring Mills. Jaden Junkin with the kill to the back for Barry. Chacon gets it to Fischl, who hits it towards the Spring Mills bench. We're all tied up at 17 apiece now. So Spring Mills on a three-point run, trying to take the lead. Yeah, tried to kind of slip it in on that near side again, but was unable to. 17 all. Serve by Dugan. Quickly back over to the Spring Mill side. Sends a deep free ball over to Honey Carter. Carter kills it into the middle, and it's going to go towards the stands. Point Martinsburg. So Spring Mills was not able to get a lead there. Martinsburg back up on top, 18-7, to and they have the serve. Madigan Runyon, the server for the Bulldogs. She gets an ace off McDaniel, 19 to seven now. Yeah, just a misplay of the ball, resulting in a point. I mean, definitely could have been played, uh, but just couldn't get to it, or couldn't really time it up there. 19, 17, your score. Another ace, making it 20 to 17. And it looks like we will have a timeout called by Spring Mills. Let's take the 30-second break with them. This is West Virginia High School Volleyball and WRNR TV, Comcast 10 and WRNR TV on YouTube. How will I be able to retire? How do I make the most of the money I have? How do I leave a lasting legacy to my loved ones? I'm Philip McCoy, financial advisor with the Marius Group, a private wealth advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services Incorporated. Call us today at 304-263-4343 to help you make the most of your financial future. Our office is located at 1270 Winchester Avenue, Martinsburg, West Virginia. Ameriprise Financial Services Incorporated, member FINRA and SIPC. Set for the scoreboard. Yeah, keep the scoreboard. Welcome back here to the Martinsburg Fieldhouse. Madigan Runyon still serving for the Martinsburg Bulldogs. Sir, serve. serve. Goes out, point Spring Mills. The score is now 20 to 18. Yeah, she had a little bit of a run there, but couldn't quite get that one on the back line. Good job by Spring Mills to read it off of the hit. Knew it was too far, so didn't make contact with the ball and was able to now get in a pretty good situation. I mean, Jane Duncan, Junkin, excuse me, you know, serving, and she had a nice stretch, I believe, earlier in the game. Junkin serve to Chacon. Deep free ball sent over by Martinsburg. And the point goes to the Bulldogs, 21 to 18 now they lead. Yeah, we're getting into that point of the match where you know, every point obviously matters more and more. And Matty Fischel. Get over by Anders. Dick with the kill off the block, unable to recover for Spring Mills was Kalia Campbell. 22-18 now, Martinsburg three points away from a set one victory. Official serve right down the middle for Junkin. Junkin hits it off the net and down 23-18. Martinsburg leads by five now. I think Spring Mills could do a better job of trying to get into their offense uh, and set up for some spikes because they're kind of playing to what Martinsburg does for does to them instead, instead of being on the attack. So it looked like we had a timeout called. We'll keep it here for now as we're already through it. We also have a final in set number one for freshman action. 
the Martinsburg Bulldogs victorious over Spring Mills over to our left by a final of 25 to 10 in their first set. So Martinsburg doing well over there as they lead over here 23 to 18. Let's see if they can get this one. They're two points away. Thank you to our cameraman John Alderton for the score of the freshman game. Official John's serves this one. And it hit off Ander, so she had to back up. McDaniel never came forward. So now Martinsburg's at set point. 24 to 18, your score. Serving for the Bulldogs is Maddie Fischel trying to put set number one away. Her serve at Junkin. Hitting it up is Campbell. And that's going to go. And in, Martinsburg gets the point. They win set number one, 25 to 18. Let's take a one-minute break, and then we'll be back for set number two. This is West Virginia High School Volleyball on WRNR TV, Comcast Channel 10, and WRNR TV on YouTube. Erie Insurance says here's to the grown-ups who move, mortgage, mow, and still bust a move. But does your home insurance still fit? Erie helps you protect the home you've grown into, all at fair prices that are often less than the other guys. So how do you find the right coverage? Magic. Nope. Local independent agents who get to know you like this. Your local area agent in Martinsburg is Smallwood and Small Insurance. Get a quote at smallwoodandsmall.com. Erie Insurance. WB Medicine is pleased to introduce five new providers who've joined our medical staffs at Berkeley Medical Center, Jefferson Medical Center, and University Healthcare Physicians. Dr. Leslie Golden, Orthopedics. Dr. Alexander Bitzer, Orthopedics. Dr. Courtney McQuillan, Obstetrics and Gynecology. Nurse Practitioner Carolyn Gable, Nephrology. And Darwin Castillo, Emergency Medicine. WVU Medicine, growing to meet the needs of our community. Welcome back to the Martinsburg Field House. The Bulldogs win set number one against Spring Mills and JV action 25 to 18. We'll get ready to head to set two as both teams in the huddle. This is Colin McLaughlin. Alongside me is Nick Verzellini. Our cameramen tonight are John Alderton and Donald Kinney. Back at the studio is Spencer Dupuy. So we get ready for set number two. Nick, quickly, what did you like there in set number one? Well, I think there's a lot of competitive volleyball being played and I think too you know we saw Spring Mills against Hedgesville this Spring Mills team did not look good in that in that uh, three-game set and they've looked a lot better today so you've already seen the improvements that they've made uh, in just a few uh, or just like a week pretty much so you know it was kind of embarrassing against Hedgesville I'd say because I agree really especially with JV yeah Hedgesville yeah. wiped the floor with them in all they reality I apologize to the Spring Mills fans listening but Hedgesville definitely dominated that JV match, but they definitely looked better tonight and just fell apart there at the end. It was, I believe, 17-17. I can't remember if it was 18-18, but then Martinsburg pulled away to win set number one, 25-18. Let's see what Spring Mills can do here now. They're going to serve first. So we have the libero for Martinsburg entering, and that is Honey Carter. That's really what it's about, though, too, is getting better from set to set and game to game. Um, and then eventually when you get up to varsity, you know, hopefully they start resulting in wins. Bella Abshire with a hard serve directly at Carter. Dick with a free ball over. McDaniels bumps it up. Sending it over is Dugan. The ball set up off the net and recovered. Trying to get the point from Martinsburg was Delgado. Dick sets that one over. McDaniel was going for it. But hitting it instead was Abshire giving the point to Martinsburg. They now lead 1-0. Can you still say 1-0 in volleyball? I don't know. I'm not here to correct you. Jim Klein would have to tell you that one. Martinsburg serves. They're up 1-0, 1-0, 1-0, and 1-0. Whatever you want to say or think, I'm not going to judge either. It's now 2-0, 2-0, 2-0. Let's just go with nothing. Let's do that. I'm just trying to have some fun, yeah, trying to stay I awake. Mean, it's been a long day for you me. you got to have fun on the broadcast, Colin. Or Always, especially with EPEC Volleyball. Doing it? Exactly. Serve off the net, point Spring Mills. It's now 2-1. to one. I like how the Martinsburg player decided to still play it after that, even though she knew that it was already no point. Hey, 
Whatever you can get away with, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> the serve now for Spring Mills. Ava Campbell will be the server. Campbell serves it at Dick. Dick miss hits it. Goes into the uh, bleachers behind them. We're tied up at two apiece now. They can serve. You know, a lot of power behind it. Uh, kind of put it in a tough position. And... Yeah, results in the service aids. We've really seen only that one major volley that we had earlier, and since then it's really been either aces or service errors for the most part. So this one almost going into the freshman play. It eventually does. Fortunately for them, they hadn't started yet, and we had just had our scoreboard go off, but it's okay. The score is 3-2 to two Spring Mills. Yeah, so hopefully that goes back up because how we're doing the scoreboard now is based off their scoreboard. So. I know. Right now I'll just up as it's there already back on. Is. I was getting ready for my fingers, but I don't have enough for uh, it to really go any higher as it's now 3-3. Three to three. Martinsburg gets the point as it goes off Spring Mills into the bench. I mean, I could have took my shoes off, maybe used my toes for that, but it'd be too much broadcast-wise. I do have a pen, too. I could do tally marks. Courtney Dick sends that directly over to Emma Jones. For Peyton Dugan. Back over to the Martinsburg side. Delgado with the kill. McDaniel gets it. Honey Carter sends it to Fischl. Campbell bumped up for Junkin. She sends it deep to Carter. Fischl back over to the Spring Mill side now. It's going to go off the net. Trying to tip it over was Dugan unable to do so. Martinsburg now leads 5-2, to two, and a timeout will be called. Let's take the 30-second break with them. This is West Virginia High School Volleyball on Comcast Channel 10 and WRNR TV on YouTube. Home helpers are the Eastern Panhandle, making life easier for you, your family, and especially your loved one who needs care. We offer Direct Link's exclusive line of medical alert systems, monitored 24-7 by CSAA 5 Diamond Certified Care Center, with help at the touch of a button, free installation, and no long-term contracts. Call 304-433-8000 or visit homehelpershomecare.com slash panhandle, or stop by and see them. They're located on Edwin Miller Boulevard in Martinsburg. Each office independently owned and operated. Welcome back here to the Martinsburg Fieldhouse. We're in set number two between the Martinsburg Bulldogs and the Spring Mills Cardinals. The score, 5-2, to two, Martinsburg leads. They won set number one, 25-18. So the Bulldogs, if they win this one, will have the sweep of the evening for JV play. The serve by Martinsburg. Sent to the Spring Mill side, back over to Martinsburg now. Dodger Wright with the kill off block. She gets the point. Nice to see that, especially for JV play, just getting basic bump set spike offense and a sixth point for the Bulldogs. Yeah, that, that was really good execution. Martinsburg seems a little bit ahead of Spring Mills in that area of the game. Uh, they've certainly set up their teammates a lot more than Spring Mills has. Is an ace for Martinsburg, now making it 7-2 as it goes off the hands of Emma Jones of Spring Mills. Courtney Dick right now doing very well with her serves. Let's see if she can keep it up. The first one was really solid, and so is that one. That one, a bullet directly at Jones. She recovers this one. And a free ball sent over by Campbell to Carter. Set up and over to Fischl. She's going to just punch that one up and over. Carter from Martinsburg. Dodger Wright with another kill off the block. And just missing over the net. 7-3 now. Martinsburg still leads Spring Mills, but the Cardinals have the serve. Yeah, great effort by Martinsburg, but a really nice block at the net by Spring Mills is Peyton Duggan, and that made it tough for Martinsburg to recover. Dugan now will serve for Spring Mills. Almost lost the ball there. It's the one serve by Dugan. Goes directly at Carter. She gets up and recovers it. Back over to the Spring Mill side now. It's going to go into the air. I almost thought that was four, but it looked like it only was three. Maybe it was just a tip at first. Delgado sends it over. Spring Mills tried to recover. 
And miss hitting it was Campbell giving the point to Martinsburg. Eight to three is your score now. The Bulldogs lead. Yeah, it looked like kind of two players went for it at once, so maybe that's why you thought it was four. Could be. Eight to three, Dodger right for Martinsburg with the serve. Sends it at Junkin. Ball tipped over. Fischl with it. She tries to get the kill. Saved by Campbell. Junkin has to send a free ball over for Chacon. Getting a nice spike was Rhodes, making it 9-3. to three. Yeah, overall, I mean, Martinsburg has controlled the tempo of the game, it seems like. And, you know, Spring Mills is, is trying, trying to uh, kind of react to them opposed to set up their offense, and there's another mystery. That one goes into the Martinsburg bench, making it 10 to 3. We'll have another timeout called. We'll take the 30 second timeout with them. This is West Virginia High School Volleyball on WRNR Comcast Channel 10, WRNR TV on YouTube. The right attorney can make all the difference in the outcome of your case. I called Sutton and Janelle, the best lawyers you could ask for. Sutton and Janelle Attorneys at Law. 70 years of collective legal experience, family law, criminal defense, DUI, personal injury, and mediation. Sutton and Janelle got the most favorable outcome I could have expected. Visit Sutton and Janelle's new historic location, 224 West King Street in Martinsburg. Online at suttonandjanelle.com. Sutton and Janelle Attorneys at Law. They value your rights and are passionate about your success. Welcome back to Martinsburg High School. We're inside the Martinsburg Fieldhouse. Colin McLaughlin here alongside me is Nick Verzellini. The score is 10 to 3. Martinsburg leads Spring Mills. Dodger Wright serves for the Bulldogs. That one just goes out of play. Spring Mills gets the point. Yeah, good job to read that one, especially with the, the no real back line there. It can be tough to tell, but kind of just got to judge your instincts. Yeah, it was a uh, smart and successful timeout for Spring Mills getting right off her rhythm. Delgado with the kill at McDaniel. That one's going to go into the air. Almost looked like it was going to go into the basketball hoop that's you raised get extra up. extra points if it goes through the hoop and and onto the other side of the court. I think you should, but I don't think the I SSAC think agrees with us, so the score is 11-4 to four Martinsburg, Nick. That would, well, it didn't go in. So that is true. We don't know what the rule is on that. I guess that's also true. <laughs> we'll look it up. I, I doubt it's a rule. Maybe in the first Spring Mills Martinsburg girls basketball game, they get an extra two points. I, I doubt it, but if you want to talk to the SSAC, I will encourage it. It's official. Hits that one off the net. Spring Mills gets the point. Makes it 11 to 5. Martinsburg still leads by 6. Spring Mills, Emma Jones serves. Let's see if she can get a rhythm going for the Cardinals as they can hopefully chip back into this one as they already trail one set to nothing. Martinsburg one set number 1, 25 to 18. And yeah, we'll see here. I mean, you're only down 6, but... Now's the time to get the rally going, and obviously and that's she has a service of... error off the net. Twelve to five. Now Martinsburg leads. It's mistakes like those that we talked about in the pregame that you want to limit if you want to be victorious. And mostly, we've seen more of those on the Spring Mill side than we have the Martinsburg side. Maddie Fischel serves this one to McDaniel. Coming in on it is Abshire calling off Junkin. Junkin let her have it, and mistakes were made, 13-5. to five. Well, one thing I will say is even if Spring Mills doesn't get this win, it's not about effort. They've you know, been diving all over the place and stuff like that. Just, you know, Martinsburg has had a little bit more success in terms of its offensive game. Martinsburg sends a free ball over to Spring Mills. Set up. A kill. Off Anders, recovered by Martinsburg, going up and getting a kill of their own was Kira Rhodes for the Bulldogs, making it 14-5. to And Spring Mills, out of timeouts already this set, they've called two, so they're really going to need to just adjust on the fly and hope for the best as they already trail by nine. Official with the serve to McDaniel. She hits it off the wire, point Martinsburg. They now lead by ten, biggest lead of the afternoon. Yeah, I mean, Martinsburg has been doing a great job of really controlling the ball and then setting up or moving the Spring Mills defense, and that's resulted in a lot of nice kills for them. Fishel to McDaniel. 
miscommunication between Spring Mills, but they're able to get it over to the Martinsburg side, back over to Spring Mills now. And yeah, there you have a player running all the way Deep from free the right ball. side to the left side, Colin. I mean, that's not your ball. That's the player on the left side. Ball. Yeah, especially if you uh, don't want to be all tight together. Nonetheless, 16-5 to is your score. Martinsburg continues to serve. 16-6 to is Maddie Fischel's serve goes off the net. Spring Mills gets the point. Serving now is McDaniel for Spring Mills. Her serve, you can tell, never had the height from our unique angle right behind her. Goes off the net and back-to-back -back service errors each time that Spring Mills has served now, making it 17-6 to Martinsburg leads. We're up here in the art room. Yeah, definitely a uh, fun venue. view for volleyball and basketball when we're here. Daniel has the dive there. Great heads-up play by her for Spring Mills. Ball on Martinsburg's side of the court now. Aired with it. Sends it over to Junkin. Martinsburg dives forward, gets it aired. Tried to kill it, miss, hit it late, and it goes onto the court 17 to 7. Martinsburg still leads, but the point goes to Spring Mills. Also in set number two is the freshman game to our left. It looks like Martinsburg's leading that one 17 to 11. They won their first set 25 to 10. Or, or if it's 11, 11. John nodded his head, so I okay. think I was correct. <laughs> Thank you over there, John. Dodger Wright hits it over for Martinsburg. Junkin hits it back by Spring Mills to the Bulldog side. Aired hits it to the back. She gets the point for Martinsburg, 18 to 7 now. Some fans that are here getting ready for the varsity game in the student section of Martinsburg making some noise. Yeah, student section of volleyball games is usually pretty fun. Because, uh, you know, a lot of people come out for it and uh, kind of rally together. Yeah, especially during EPAC play when it's a crosstown rival, it typically attracts more students to come in. Hopefully we'll see more during varsity play as uh, soccer games end outside and people come inside. Delgado, wow, gets the point. I thought that was going to go by her as she had to curve her body to a weird angle. She's able to get that kill from... The far side of their end of the court to this near side for us, making it 19-7. to That was probably the play of the game so far by Delgado and the Martinsburg Bulldogs. Yeah, I'd agree. Had to use her left hand, too. I mean, I don't know if she might be left-handed, but a you know, great play. Carter set up by Barry. Over to McDaniel now for Spring Mills. Junkin goes into her bench and tried to hit it over. It goes out of play. The score is now 20-7. to Martinsburg all over Spring Mills in set number two. Serving for the Bulldogs is Amaya Berry. Berry serve directly to McDaniel. And Spring Mills gets the point, making it 20-8. to This is your uh, kind of opportunity. You know, you only have five more points before the match is over, so you got to get your rally going now if you're going to get it, if you're Spring Mills. Ava Campbell serves it to Aird for Martinsburg. Dodger Wright tries to get a kill, goes off the net. Spring Mills gets another point. It's now 20 to 9. Spring Mills out of timeouts. So, as I said earlier, they got to adjust on the fly and just try to chip away at this 11 point lead. Campbell serves it to Carter. A little rally here, And an Colin. ace going for Spring Mills. Let's see if Martinsburg calls the timeout. It's still a 10-point lead, but you don't really want Spring Mills to get into a rhythm. Yeah, if you start building that confidence and then kind of losing it on your end, that can be costly. Campbell serves to Carter. Coming in on it is Delgado. She gets the kill, gets tipped off a Spring Mills player. It would have been in any way 21-10 now. Delgado. Making her name known here in this match, getting another point for the Bulldogs. Yeah, she's got a lot of power behind that swing and able to do damage with it on that one. Yeah, we saw that during uh, last week's match against Berkeley Springs as well. She was dominating on the serve in there on the uh, inside hitting position as serving now is Halani Chacon 
for Martinsburg. 21 to 10 is the score. We're in JV action. Set number two, Chacon, service error. It was off the net and rolls down. 21 to 11 now is the score. Martinsburg still leads Spring Mills. Peyton Dugan will serve. Dugan serves it. Carter, quick setup here by Barry. Back to the Spring Mills, over to the Martinsburg side now. Delgado, right at Dugan, and she tried to position herself. Instead, gets a line drive off her body, and making it 22 to 11. Delgado is really good, man. She could probably play varsity right now. She just seems like she's on a different level uh, compared to the other players. Martinsburg three points away from victory. Dodger right serve at Junkin. Bumped over to. Martinsburg side, Chacon for Fischl. Fischl sends it to the Spring Mills Cardinals. Jones sends it back to Martinsburg. In the air, Fischl hits it to the back, and it goes out. Point, Spring Mills, 22-12 to 12 now. When you watch the way Martinsburg moves on offense, it's it's been really impressive. Their players are always ready to get that kill. Uh, obviously, it didn't work out for them there, but... You know, just, just really good movement. Jane Junkin served it for Spring Mills. Back on their side now with the ball. Jones hits it to Chacon. Rhodes hits it back to the Spring Mills side. Abshire hits that one over to the locker room area. Point goes to Martinsburg. They now lead 23-12. to And Delgado, who I said last week, Dominated on the serve, is back to serve now. Let's see if she can put the final nail in the coffin of Spring Mills. Martinsburg's Delgado to McDaniel. Goes into the air, very high, almost hits the ceiling. Junkin has to send it over to Carter. Carter up into the air. Delgado with the kill off the block. It's going to go all the way to the back. And Martinsburg gets point twenty-four. They're now at game point. Yeah, just a few possessions ago, uh, Spring Mills got its really its first good look offensively, but Martinsburg was able to dig it out, and now with Delgado serving, I mean... Delgado serves for the win. Ace, game, set, match, 25-12. to 12. Martinsburg takes set number two, and they sweep Spring Mills for JV play. we also got freshman play still going on over to our left. The score is... 23 to 19, I believe Martinsburg leads that one. We're going to take a two minute break and then come back. We'll give you the uh, score for that. Hopefully, it'll be wrapped up by then. Again, a two minute break. Final is two sets to nothing. Martinsburg wins this one. This is West Virginia High School Volleyball and WRNR TV and WRNR TV on YouTube. This is Matt Miller, along with my wife, Dale. As homeowners, we've been through the mortgage process several times, and each time we went to Mark and Cheryl Savitt at the Mortgage Center. They treat you like family with personal one-on-one -on -one service, walking with you through the process from application to settlement. Plus, low interest rates and closing costs. The Mortgage Center is on Edwin Miller Boulevard in Martinsburg. Phone 304-267-9040. Or online at mortgagefinancing.com. NMLS number 237527, Equal Housing Lender. Football is back, and Apple Valley Chevy Toyota is passing the savings on to you. Get ready to score big with low interest rates, great prices, and a lifetime powertrain warranty. Apple Valley Chevy Toyota has a great selection of new and pre-owned vehicles waiting for you. Don't see what you want on a lot? No worries, it's probably on its way, but hurry in because new Chevys and Toyotas are going out just as fast as they come in. Don't miss out on your deal? Stop in today. Apple Valley Chevy Toyota on Foxcroft Ave or online at applevalleytoyota.com or applevalleychevy.com. Drive a Miller today. Before the invitations and the dress, the flowers, cake, candles, or vows, there is an answer to a question proposed with a ring. Bechtel Jewelers knows that an important part of your wedding happens before the I do's. We're a diamond store with an engagement and bridal jewelry selection that's both exciting and accessible. On the big day, there's everything else and there's the ring. Make sure you get this one right at Bechtel Jewelers in Inwood. 
The Honda Civic and the Accord are uniquely stylish in their own way. But do you know what they have in common? Reliability and comfort? Sure. Available turbocharged engines? Of course. But also, the driver. Having fun for no reason. Except for the thrill of driving a Honda. Kelly Blue Book's 2021 Best Value Brand. Miller Honda, south of Winchester, home of the Lifetime Powertrain Warranty. www.mymillerhonda.com. Based on 2021 Brand Image Awards from Kelly Blue Book, visit kbb.com for more information. Welcome back inside the Martinsburg Field House JV Action. Already wrapped up. Martinsburg wins two sets to nothing against the Spring Mills Cardinals. They won set number one, 25 to 18, and set number two, 25 to 12. Freshman play still going on, as you can see on the screen. This is Colin McLaughlin. Alongside me is Nick Verzellini. Cameramen for this evening are John Alderton and Donald Kinney. Back at the studio is our sports director, Spencer Dupuy. It looks like it is 23-22 over on the freshman side. We don't have any rosters for either team, so can't really give you uh, who's doing what. But it looks like Martinsburg just got a point, so now they are at set point. They won the first one, 25-10. So Spring Mills definitely improved in set number two, trying to stay alive and not lose uh, the freshman match as they already lost the JV match. Yeah, they're battling. See here if uh, Martinsburg can come out on top. As it is Martinsburg in the gray, Spring Mills in the red. Ball just hit high. Almost miscommunication there by Spring Mills, and it looks like it was. I think they both hit it at the same time, so Martinsburg gets the win, and the freshman won as well, 25-22. So both ones wrapped up here, and the Martinsburg Bulldogs victorious in both freshman and JV play, and now they'll have to tear everything down and uh, reset the court for varsity action, which hopefully will start in about 22, 30 minutes, Nick. But what we saw JV-wise was a pretty fun match, especially at first set it was very close back and forth, and right at the end there when it was 17-all, I think even might have been 18-all, can't fully remember, Martinsburg pulled away and won that one 25-18. to 18. It was really just getting that serve and continuing to get the rhythm going. Yeah, they were able to get a lot more good looks offensively than Spring Mills, but Spring Mills gave a good effort, I think, in both mat in both sets, I should say, but just not able to come out with the victory. But um, I was pretty impressed with a lot of things Martinsburg did, and I wonder how much it will carry over into the varsity game because, you know, while JV isn't necessarily an indication of how varsity will work out, um, I think we'll see probably a much or a pretty close match of varsity as well. Um, so, looking forward to it. Yeah, it was a fun one. And then let's look at a set number two. Martinsburg, as I said, won that one 25-12. to 12. And even though that first one that I uh, said set-wise, Spring Mills was really hanging in there against Martinsburg and uh, doing their best to stay alive, it seemed like in set two they just couldn't really get anything going. Too many service errors for the uh, Cardinals and then just not really getting a basic rhythm of butt set spike going for their offense and you could see that Martinsburg had their plays set had their style set and were able to uh, be successful especially Martinsburg's Delgado uh, trying to find her on the roster so I can remember her first name Valeria Delgado there it is number nine but she definitely did well as well as uh, Kara Rhodes and Honey Carter were just some people that really stood out. And Matty Fischel, another one for Martinsburg to give uh, the JV team a win. And that's the uh, second JV win that we've seen when we've broadcast them. Yeah, I think once they were able to really get Delgado in particular going, especially toward the end of that second set, it was pretty much all Martinsburg. And, you know, she's got a lot of power behind her swing, and she's able to angle balls at a really tough angle for the uh, defense. So... You know, she got going, and that kind of got the rally going for Martinsburg. But um, I, I really do think Spring Mills has gotten a lot better since that Hedgesville match, which, you know, is really, like I said earlier, is what JV is more so about than winning because, I mean, there's a reason why they only played best out of three. It's just to get that experience and kind of get better. I mean, if, they, if it was all about winning, it'd be best out of five, and we'd still be talking about the JV match. That is true. But nonetheless, it was two sets to nothing. Martinsburg was victorious over Spring Mills. We're still waiting for 
the uh, Bulldogs to set up the varsity court and then have the 20-minute uh, warm-up start as both scoreboards are turned back on. It's pretty uh, fascinating just to see all hands on deck get set up and have to move everything. They have to move the chairs. They have to take out two Score nets, tables. put one in. They have to move the score tables from the opposite ends of the court into the middle. It's very uh, fun to watch, and it goes pretty quick. I mean, they are already almost finished. Uh, I see that the benches are already done. It's really just uh, plugging everything in now on the scores table and making sure that's good as both teams looks like uh, varsity-wise are coming out. I see a couple of Spring Mills players starting their stretches, and uh, Martinsburg will do so here in a little bit as well. Just going to keep it here a little bit longer, and we'll take the five-minute break when the uh, 20 minutes starts on that clock. But any final thoughts from the uh, JV action and the, just our broadcast? I mean, first time getting the broadcast together, Nick. I thought it was a fun one for volleyball. Yeah, I'm looking forward here to this varsity match. I think this should be a good one. Um, you know, it, it's an interesting atmosphere here at Martinsburg. I think it's pretty cool how they have it set up here in this classroom, kind of overlooking the court. Um, a little bit different than what I expected. Obviously, we didn't have that at Spring Mills for the setup there. It was a lot different there. So, you know, pretty great setup for a high school gym. Uh, you know, typically you're kind of just doing whatever works best. But here, you know, we kind of get a little press box. Yeah, if you enjoy watching the EPAC volleyball that we give to you one day, just come out and uh, enjoy it live, especially here at the uh, Martinsburg Fieldhouse. Always a great environment for every sport hopefully even with a hopefully knock on wood that this pandemic that we're currently under goes away more in the winter so that we can see these crowds that's definitely what i missed having last year my first year broadcasting for uh wr and r it was just the fans here for all triple a schools especially when it's those rivalry games i always heard so much about just teams bringing in student sections no matter if they were at home or away and just the rivalries and how much energy the buildings were i remember whenever i did studio and uh helped out part-time with r and r just seeing even with martinsburg hedgesville it was always a complete packed house we've seen it so far for football hopefully with volleyball throughout the years we go later into the year with the playoffs and definitely with basketball whether it's boys or girls that it happens as well but let's wrap things up here. It looks like warm-ups hopefully will start in a, about a minute or so as both teams are out there. Let's see if they start the clock. But again, two sets to zero. The Martinsburg Bulldogs victorious in JV action and freshman action. The freshman scores 25-10. to 10. Set number one, Martinsburg came away with that one. And then set number two, 25-22 over Spring Mills and JV play. Martinsburg 25, Spring Mills 18, set number 2, Martinsburg 25, Spring Mills 12. Those were your finals for both JV and freshmen. Let's take a five-minute break now, and then we'll come back with the pregame show for varsity action. This is West Virginia High School Volleyball on WRNR Comcast Channel 10, WRNR TV on YouTube. Roof now, pay later at Modern Renovations in Martinsburg, West Virginia. When you've been in a wreck, you're hurting, you're confused, the insurance company's calling you. Insurance companies are not your friend. They have a duty to their shareholders, not to you. That's why you need to call us to make sure that you are maximizing what you are entitled to. We've recovered over $100 million for our clients. Every case is different, no result is guaranteed. But one thing's for sure, we'll treat you like family. A reputation for caring, a legacy of service. At Brown Funeral Homes and Cremations, it's been our story since 1880. A family-owned business, we support the needs and wishes of families. We offer traditional services, as well as many options for cremation, customized remembrances, and pre-planning. 
Brown Funeral Homes and Cremations retains its family atmosphere and stays true to its roots. Contact us for advanced planning or at your time of loss. We're here when you need us. Remember that last trip to the auto mechanic? I also think your solenoid gasket is bad. What? Yep, that'll be another $500. Forget that and go to DNN Auto Specialist at 230 Tavern Road, Martinsburg, where honesty is their best policy. Serving the Eastern Panhandle since 1974, DNN Auto is family owned and operated, specializing in exhaust alignments and tires. From general maintenance to major overhauls, they'll treat you right. Call DNN Auto Specialist at 304 267 4078. Erie Insurance says here's to the grown ups who move mortgage, mow, and still bust a move. But does your home insurance still fit? Erie helps you protect the home you've grown into, all at fair prices that are often less than the other guys. So how do you find the right coverage? Magic. Nope, local independent agents who get to know you like this. Your local Erie agent in Martinsburg is Smallwood and Small Insurance. Get a quote at smallwoodandsmall.com. Erie Insurance. Ever try to collect on an insurance claim? perhaps a homeowner's claim, auto accident or fire. Insurance companies collect money from you for protection should something bad happen. And when it does, they don't wanna pay or they offer too little. At Mansion Ferretti, we have an attorney who worked defending insurance companies and knows all the dirty tricks they play to deny or lowball your claim. Call us today for help in getting what you really deserve. Mansion Ferretti, when you need justice. Mayhem is everywhere. I'm in new bangs, and you can't stop staring at me. That's it. Just tilt the rearview mirror over here. And while you're checking me out more times in a library book, your car is wandering into that lane over there. More bangs? <laughs> Neat. And if you've got cut rate insurance, you could be paying for this yourself. So get Allstate. Call Martinsburg Allstate agent Gary Kelly today at 304-263-4596. You need to keep your vehicle in good working order, but car and truck repairs can be very costly. Bears Repair in Martinsburg performs all kinds of auto repairs at prices most often well below their competition. Bears Repair offers tune-ups, oil change and lubrication, small and large engine and transmission repair, wheel balancing, front end alignment, exhaust system replacement, air conditioning checks, auto inspections, and new tires. Stop by for a free estimate at Bears Repair, 904 Winchester Avenue in Martinsburg, phone 262-0208. Bears Repair. Hi, my name's Corey, and I'm here at Orsini's in beautiful Martinsburg, West Virginia. We no longer specialize in only appliances. We have kitchen design, countertops, cabinets, flooring, and even a new 1,200 square foot sleep studio with brands such as Stearns and Foster, Sealy, and Tempur-Pedic. 304-267-7251. 360 Heck Wilson Way in Martinsburg. We price match the big box stores, and we give back to our local community. Orsini's.com looking to buy a home in the eastern panhandle having trouble getting your house sold then call chris ross and the milestone real estate group at keller williams a martinsburg high school graduate chris knows the local market and he's proven it as the number one real estate team in west virginia in 2019 milestone real estate group at keller williams phone 304-579-7349 or go to callchrisross.com let's celebrate your real estate milestone together Good evening, everyone. Welcome back into the Martinsburg Field House at Martinsburg High School here in West Virginia. Almost time for varsity volleyball action in the WVSSA C Eastern Panhandle Athletic Conference between the Martinsburg Bulldogs and the Spring Mills Cardinals. Colin McLaughlin here alongside me is Nick Verzellini, not Jim Klein, as he's enjoying vacation in Myrtle Beach. Hello, Jim. If you're uh, tuning in, we'll hope that you're enjoying a nice cold one and enjoying the beach as well and some EPAC volleyball. If you're uh, watching, just give us a text hello. If you're not watching, no hard feelings. You're at the beach. You have an excuse. Enjoy it. Cameramen for this evening are John Alderton and Donald Kinney. Back in the studio is Spencer Dupuy. Martinsburg and Spring Mills, EPAC action. The first time this year these two teams are against each other, but since it's a conference opponent, they're definitely familiar with each other. Martinsburg leads the all-time series with 10 wins. Spring Mills has five wins, and there's actually been a tie as well. I didn't see exactly what date it was. I didn't really know that uh, 
volleyball could end in ties. I think it might be during tournament action. Somebody would have to uh, give me more details into that. But nonetheless, they have one tie. But last year, they actually split the series. September 15th of 2020, Martinsburg won three sets to nothing. And then October 8th of 2020, Spring Mills actually won three sets to two. Let me welcome back in my broadcast partner for this evening, Nick Verzellini. And Nick, I know we just had our five-minute break just trying to mentally regroup and uh, get ready for varsity action here. I wasn't sure if you've seen the uh, warm-ups. What have you liked so far? Well, I think as you go kind of through the warm-ups, you know, it is very different than a JV warm-up, I guess. So you're kind of getting getting your sets in, getting your, uh, you know, warm up different parts of the game. Um, so that's kind of like what they're working on right now. And not really, I can't really take too much away from a warm-up, though. I mean, Jim would be able to probably break it down for you a whole lot more. But for me, you know, you're just warming up. You're getting ready to play. And what should be a, a very exciting match. And, uh, you know, I'm expecting it to be very competitive as well because really I don't think we know a ton about Martinsburg this year based on how they've played so far. And I think for Spring Mills, you know, they're looking for that first win. And what better way to get it than in, in the EPAC? Yeah, that's what I was going uh, to say. Mar Spring Mills 0-4 so far this season, 0-2 in the EPAC play. They finished last year, however, with a 16 and five record, and their uh, season ended with a 3-0 to loss to Hedgesville in the playoffs. They so far had lost their season opener September 2nd at Musselman, 3 to nothing, and then also lost another one, 3 to nothing. They lost against Hedgesville, 3-1, to but they won that first set. We were actually at that one and saw it and broadcasted it. That was our first broadcast of the year for volleyball. Then they lost Saturday, two sets to nothing against Philip Barber. So Spring Mills, as you said, Nick, trying to get their first win. Martinsburg's 2-2. Two and two. They're actually on a uh, two-match win streak. They came off with a win Tuesday against Jefferson, three sets to one. Then on senior night on Thursday, the match that we broadcasted for you, they were all over, outclassed Berkeley Springs completely and won three sets to nothing. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going from last week and uh, get a win against Spring Mills tonight. But... As you said, always close in EPAC play. You never know who's going to win on any given night, no matter who the team is. Yeah, and two new head coaches as well, and unfortunately we didn't get a chance to speak to them because uh, we would have been able to kind of get their insight on this match. But obviously as they kind of go throughout the season, the players will kind of get used to their style of coaching and they'll get used to the players a little bit more and they'll kind of get a bit better feel for how this team is going. So I think Martinsburg might be – kind of already getting that feel with the back-to-back -back wins, but Spring Mills certainly has been competitive in its four matches, just haven't been able to get a win yet. And uh, I think, you know, tonight's an opportunity, obviously a rivalry kind of game. Um, you know, it should be a good atmosphere, as we mentioned earlier, how, you know, the student sections can kind of come back this year. And, and obviously Martinsburg has a really nice gym, and, and there's a lot of fans that can fill up the seats here. And I mean, probably like us kind of, a lot of the fans taking it some time to get some food or drinks uh, in between the JV and the varsity match, but I'm expecting you know a competitive game, and I think both these coaches can kind of get a good read on how their seasons are going to go based on how tonight goes. Yeah, I agree. It was always nice last year, uh, uniqueness of not having fans, but still allowing family members and teammates, obviously, to stay and watch so typically the crowd was actually larger than most because you had freshmen and JV teams that would fully stick around for the varsity match and their families as well compared to what you saw basketball it was typically only varsity matches maybe sometimes JV they typically played on another night so it wasn't as large of a crowd so the energy was always there especially with female sports you always hear the benches encouraging their teammates definitely team chemistry always strong within any sport, but typically chants and cheers you see more in female sports, and that's exactly what you saw last year, and hopefully this year with fans back in the stands, you'll see more of that. Let's take our first two-minute break here for the Varsity pregame show. Again, a two-minute break. This is West Virginia High School Volleyball on WRNR Comcast Channel 10 and WRNR TV on YouTube.
This is Ben Copenhaver, your local alarm professional at Dynamark Atlantic Security. Did you know that home break-ins are 6% more likely during the day? That's right. The bad guys know when you're away, and they are smarter than you think. Dynamark Atlantic Security has the security solutions for you. Don't commit the error when the game is on the line. Phone me today at 304-671-2158 to learn how to play good defense against the bad guys. Dynamark Atlantic Security. Call today at 304-671-2158. W. Harley Miller Systems understands the need and desire for reliable and affordable smart home solutions. Secure your home with a security system and keep a close eye on your family. Automate your home with a Control 4 system and have smart technology work as one. Set daily schedules to control your thermostats. Push a button and set the mood for dinner by dimming lights and playing music, or just sit back and enjoy a movie in your own home theater. Put decades of experience to work for you. Visit us at whmsystems.com or call 304-350-1931. Spring Valley Farm and Orchard in beautiful Hampshire County is owned by the Cooks, Eli and Misty, and their three children who farm on 820 acres and grow fresh peaches, apples, corn, tomatoes, melons, squash, zucchini, beans, and more. Spring Valley Farm Market has a new location at 1793 Dry Run Road in Martinsburg and a Winchester location, too. Open Monday through Saturday, 9 until 5 and Sunday, 9 to 4. For the freshest, highest quality fruit and produce, shop Spring Valley Farm Market. Buy fresh, buy local. Nothing's better for celebrating after a tough day on the gridiron than a refreshing beer from the frozen tundra of Rock's Beer Cave. Go ahead, pour it on, big guy. The beer was for after the game. Cold beer, get your rocks cold beer. Welcome back inside the Martinsburg Fieldhouse. Colin McLaughlin here. Alongside me is Nick Verzellini, our cameraman, or Donald Kinney, and John Alderton back at the studio being our producer, Spencer Dupuy. Right now, Spring Mills out on the court warming up for varsity action between the Cardinals and the Martinsburg Bulldogs. And some people to watch out for, I was just talking to Nick, is definitely Samantha Stevens and Ann Ofobu, the two key players, as you see right now on TV, Ofobu trying to just warm up her uh, kills. Her and Stevens definitely threats on the net. It'll hopefully be fun to watch them and see how uh, Martinsburg's nine seniors can deal with them, Nick. Yeah, definitely. And just based off warm-ups, you kind of see their ability to get those power, get their power behind the spikes. Uh, obviously have you know, good, good height as well, so you you're able to you know, see why they would be you know, threats either on the defensive end or on the offensive end for this uh, Spring Mills team. Yeah, the height's definitely going to help you, and that's what you want to see after for Martinsburg. Let's look more into them. They finished last year with a 5-6 and six record in the regular season, had a lot of matches, unfortunately, uh, canceled on them due to COVID, and their season ended via 3 nothing sweep to Musselman, in the playoffs and graduated last year Ella Joseph, Kara Anderson, Gracie Wilt and Ashley Wallen who now is at Robert Morris D1 player so definitely a lot of talent that you remember from last year gone but they have nine seniors that are replacing them this year as well as eight juniors so still a upper class team that hopefully can stick together and do well for the Bulldogs. They're 2-2 two and two overall, 1-1 one and one in EPAC play. They lost their season opener to Washington 3-2 to two, and lost to Broadneck 3 to nothing. But since then, they're on a two-match win streak. They beat Jefferson, as I said, 3-1 to one, and then won on Thursday for senior night, 3 sets nothing against Berkeley Springs. And we saw that one and they were definitely all over Berkeley Springs. So let's see if they can, I guess, keep that momentum going. Obviously, it's going to be a completely different matchup because Berkeley Springs is not Spring Mills. Spring Mills is not Berkeley Springs. So it should be a fun one tonight, as it always is with EPAC play, Nick. Yeah, and I just like looking at the two teams, I guess based on, you know, just uh, warm-ups and stuff, you know, Spring Mills looks pretty impressive in terms of having more height, which I think does definitely play a role in volleyball, obviously. You know, Martinsburg is not the tallest team, it doesn't look like, so... You know, maybe a little bit of an advantage there for Spring Mills, but as you said, you know, Martinsburg did look very impressive against Berkeley Springs. So, 
you know, and they do have a little bit more confidence probably heading into this match being 2-2 two and two compared to 0-4. Oh and four. So, you know, we'll kind of see how this one plays out. I think that we're going to get a very uh, back-and-forth match, and we'll see, you know, who ends up being uh, the better team here tonight. Yeah, for Martinsburg, you got to watch out, especially serving-wise, Emily Valls. And then on the front line, you got Jadalyn Joseph, Bella Ray, and then the Bishop sisters in Skyler and Avery all able to get some hard kills. It's going to be interesting to see how Spring Mills is able to just go up to the net and be able to successfully uh, block them. You don't want anything to go off blocks, go to the side or off the net and back down. So defensively, Spring Mills will definitely need to bring their A game tonight if they want to pick up their first victory of the year. Martinsburg trying to improve to 3-2 and two overall. And I'm definitely looking forward to it. We already had JV and freshman play. Martinsburg swept Spring Mills in both of them. So Spring Mills trying not to get swept completely out of the Martinsburg Fieldhouse by the Bulldogs in all three matches. It's definitely something as a program that you... Uh, never want to see Nick yeah and, and so far I think you know the teams have been competitive but I know just from back when I played high school sports and stuff anytime the varsity the JV and the freshman or the middle school team even to an extent all get a win uh, over another school you know we used to always celebrate that and and obviously if it happens to you you know it's kind of deflating because especially I think for the coach's perspective because it's like why wow, we really couldn't you know, sneak out even one win. So uh, if you're Spring Mills, you definitely don't want that to happen. But obviously if you're Martinsburg, you know, that would be a, a pretty impressive accomplishment for your program and show how much talent you have throughout all three levels. Yeah, and it definitely typically means so much more when it's not only a uh, conference opponent but a cross-town rival. These two teams just separated about 15 minutes apart from each other via uh, – Route 11 there between Spring Mills and Martinsburg. So it's an easy ride in for friends, family. Make sure if you can, come down, see this one. It's going to be great tonight. Let's take another two-minute break, then we'll come back over both teams' rosters. And a two-minute break. This is West Virginia High School Volleyball on WRNR TV 10, WRNR TV on YouTube. With four new car dealerships and four used car dealerships in three states, Parsons is the largest used car and fastest growing new car dealer in the tri-state area. Take Parsons Ford with huge savings on hundreds of new Fords, financing from 0%, Parsons' goal of financing for all, and Parsons' famous above-market trade-in allowances that help make Parsons number one for used cars, too. See why so many won't buy anywhere but Parsons Ford in Martinsburg. We became number one by making you number one first. Parsons. It's NCAA Division II football on TV10 as the Shepherd University Rams have a top 25 matchup with IUP. Third down here, third and four. Straight drop back for Bajan. He now rolls out to the right, looking deep down the sideline. A wide open Ryan Beach, and he'll walk in for six. Touchdown, Rams. Join us on Saturday, September 18th for a matchup between the Rams and the Crimson Hawks. The pregame show begins at 1.30 with kickoff at 2, right here on TV10 and the WRR-TV YouTube channel. When it comes to breast cancer, early detection is the key. During the month of October, WVU Medicine Berkeley Medical Center and Jefferson Medical Center will offer 3D mammogram screening clinics to women 40 and older on select Saturdays at our Women's Imaging Centers in Ranson and Spring Mills for just $60. This discounted fee helps patients who haven't met their deductible, whose insurance doesn't include one with an annual exam, or for those with no insurance. Schedule your 3D mammogram today. Call WVU Medicine at 1-844-802-2734. Option the excitement of West Virginia high school football is in full swing. Braxton Todd cutting right up the middle. He's into the clear at the 30. It's a foot race down the near side hash mark. Look at Adams catch him from behind as he gets to him, but he breaks the tackle. Braxton Todd gets away and goes in for the score. The 3-0 Martinsburg Bulldogs take on the 2-1 Highland Spring Springers, one of the top teams in Virginia, Friday at 7 p.m. with pregame at 6 following the sports mix at 5 p.m. right here on Talk Radio WRNR and TV 10. Inside the Martinsburg Fieldhouse, 3 minutes, 20 seconds to go until varsity action between the Martinsburg Bulldogs and the Spring Mills Cardinals. Colin McLaughlin here. Alongside me is Nick Verzellini. Cameramen this evening are Donald Kinney and John Alderton back at the studio. 
is Spencer Dupuy. Let's now look at the rosters for both teams. I will start with the visiting Spring Mills Cardinals, and then Nick, you can follow with a uh, Martinsburg Bulldogs if that's all right with you, and that's be greatly fine, appreciated. Fine. Let's look at uh, Spring Mills. You got number one, Gracie Kane. Number four, Maddie McDaniel. Number seven, Jaden Junkin. Number nine, Isabel Bolyard. Number 11, Ann Ofogbu. Number 12, Peyton Dugan. Number 13, Samantha Stevens. Number 14, Cora Shaw. Number 16, Alyssa Ryder. And number 17, Ariana Parsley. Spring Mills head coach for this season is Ashley Wolf. And then on the Martinsburg side of things, number six, Yukari Blanchard. Number seven, Avery Bishop. Number 10, Madison Barringer. Number 17, Kendall Halbin. Number 18, Emily Fennell. Number 19, Emily Valls. Number 20, Skylar Bishop. Number 21, Eli Mosby. Number 22, Jadalyn Joseph. Number 23, Sophie Marple. Number 27, Bella Ray. And number 34, Kesey Botelli. Also, I want to apologize. It's actually uh, Haley Wolf. I don't know why I had Ashley uh, stuck in my head, but it is Haley Wolf, the coach for uh, Spring Mills. And then for Martinsburg, for it would be Stephen Nelson. Is that correct? Mike Nelson. Mike Nelson. Yep, Mike Nelson. Still trying to learn. It's their first season, and it's our uh, first season trying to get to know them as well. Unfortunately, didn't get to... Uh, talk to them before the game as we had some technical difficulties so just doing our best to uh, try to get through that hopefully you enjoy the broadcast still tonight as Martinsburg will do their final warm ups here on the court as you can see varsity wise they will be in all white with black stripes down the sides and long sleeve shirts as for spring mills they're in their all dark blue uniforms so we're about a minute away from the announcer giving out the uh, teams and hopefully it's going to be a fun one it always is for EPAC play these two teams split the series last year Martinsburg leads the all time series with 10 wins Spring Mills has 5 wins and there's one tie as well it's look to see uh, what the next chapter of this rivalry will be other EPAC matches tonight I haven't mentioned yet you got a uh, tri-tournament there in Hedgesville as St. Maria Goretti and Washington High School are both at Hedgesville. You also got an EPAC matchup, Jefferson against Musselman. That should be a good one. Mar Musselman always does well, and Jefferson better this year. We'll see how the Appleman and Cougars do this year, and it looks like the uh, warm-ups will get wrapped up. Any final comments from you, Nick, before we send it to our last break? Just excited to see how varsity turns out. Uh, JV was kind of back and forth, so I'm expecting some more from the varsity level as well, Colin. And don't forget, varsity action for high school volleyball here in the state of West Virginia is a best three out of five compared to what we had earlier with a best two out of three. Martinsburg going to try to improve to three and two on the year and get another EPAC victory. As for Spring Mills, they're searching for the first win of the season for the Cardinals. They're own 4 right now, and wouldn't it be even sweeter to do that against your cross-town rival? Let's take our final two-minute break, and then we'll be back for high school volleyball action. Again, a two-minute break. This is West Virginia High School Volleyball on WRNR TV 10 and WRNR TV on YouTube. Football is back, and Apple Valley Chevy Toyota is passing the savings on to you. Get ready to score big with low interest rates, great prices, and a lifetime powertrain warranty. Apple Valley Chevy Toyota has a great selection of new and pre-owned vehicles waiting for you. Don't see what you want on a lot? No worries, it's probably on its way, but hurry in because new Chevys and Toyotas are going out just as fast as they come in. Don't miss out on your deal. Stop in today. Apple Valley Chevy Toyota on Foxcroft app or online at applevalleytoyota.com or applevalleychevy.com. Drive a Miller today. 
Let's talk trash, because when it comes to trash, you have options. Panhandle Dumpsters is a local family-owned garbage hauling company serving both residential and commercial customers with weekly trash pickup, dumpster service, yard waste pickup, and ball pickups, too. Panhandle Dumpsters will give you a free trash can and provide curbside service for just $23 a month. Panhandle Dumpsters features a fleet of quieter, eco-friendly garbage trucks, thereby reducing the noise usually associated with pickup. Switch now and save up to 30%. Call 833-DUMP-STR, panhandledumpsters.com. Looking to buy a home in the Eastern Panhandle? Having trouble getting your house sold? Then call Chris Ross and the Milestone Real Estate Group at Keller Williams. A Martinsburg High School graduate, Chris knows the local market and he's proven it as the number one real estate team in West Virginia in 2019. Milestone Real Estate Group at Keller Williams. Phone 304-579-7349 or go to callchrisross.com. Let's celebrate your real estate milestone together. Nothing goes better with football than chicken. From Pee Wee to the big boys to the wing T formation. Oh my, fumbling, bumbling, stumbling. Omaha! Omaha! Rocks Local Market.
terrific rendition of our national anthem here at Martinsburg High School. And if I remember correctly, uh, this morning from Rob Mary, I believe, today's the actual uh, anniversary of Ren Francis Scott Key wrote that beautiful poem that is now go. our national anthem. We're I here at Martinsburg High School. It is varsity action between the Spring Mills Cardinals and the Martinsburg Bulldogs. Colin McLaughlin here alongside me is Nick Verzellini. Back at the studio, Spencer Dupuy. Our cameramen for this evening are Donald Kinney and John Alderton. Martinsburg in white, Spring Mills in blue for varsity action. Let's get started. We already had JV action between the two as well as freshman action. Martinsburg won both of those two sets to nothing. Really good atmosphere, too, to begin this match already. Colin, uh, you know, the two teams coming out, being announced. Um, you know, big cheers for both teams. So yeah, definitely uh, kind of hard to see from our angle, but there is a little bit of a student section over there for Martinsburg to our right, you got a couple of the uh, freshmen and JV players that stuck around as well as uh, some classmates going to try to make some noise for the home. Martinsburg Bulldogs, and it looks like a pretty big crowd for Spring Mills all the way to our left as well. So it's going to be a fun Eastern Panhandle Athletic Conference matchup here in AAA West Virginia High School Volleyball. Waiting for the officials to... Uh, Make sure both lineup cards in set order are ready to go. And it looks like the ball is going to head to the Martinsburg side. And Martinsburg's pointing over that it should be Spring Mills to serve first. So they swap it back over to Spring Mills. It'll be Ariana Parsley to serve first for the Cardinals. I don't actually know. I'd have to look more into that, Nick. Officials didn't know either, I guess. Parsley serve off the net, a service error to start. Point Bulldogs. We saw that a lot from the JV team of Spring Mills, and now on the very start of varsity action, the Cardinals do the same thing. Martinsburg now serving up one to nothing. Sophie Marple serve goes to the back line of Spring Mills. Up the set. Stevens tips it over to Marple. Brenniger over for Benel, and it's going to get blocked by Stevens. Point, Spring Mills. All tied up at one apiece. Yeah, just couldn't get that over the net after the great block by Stevens. That will be a challenge, I think, for Martinsburg being kind of the undersized team. You know, how do they get past this tall Spring Mills front line? Serving for Spring Mills. It's Cora Shaw. Her serve goes off the net. Brenniger gets it. Marple for a Bishop off the block. Two to one, Martinsburg. I guess that's how you do it, right? Just go right over top of them. Uh, great job by Bishop there at the net to get it over. Bishop using the long legs of hers to just jump back up there and get it off the uh, block of Parsley for the point. Two to one's the score. Martinsburg leads. Fennel serve to Fobu. And that one's going to stay on the side of Spring Mills as it was set for Alyssa Ryder. She thought it was going over the net, so she stayed back. Point Bulldogs scores 3-1. to one. Moni Fennell serving. Goes to the Spring Mills side. Bobu hits it over the net to Martinsburg. Bellaray up, and that one going in. Miss reading that one with Stevens, and it looks like Shaw, four to one now. Martinsburg leads. Excellent ball placement. Anytime you can get it, either on kind of the back line or the side of the court, that's those are probably the toughest places to play the ball. Another miscommunication error there by Spring Mills, making it five to one for Martinsburg and ace for Fennel. The Spring Mills has been a little bit sloppy on the offensive end and has had some miscommunications leading to Martinsburg points. Afobu goes down, gets that one. She comes up for a kill. That's going to knuckle right down at the last second inside the line. 5-2 to two now. 
Great play by Ofobu to get the bump and then ready for the kill. They just placed it right in that back corner, Colin, and nobody was there for Martinsburg. And if you're able to get kind of the uh, defense moving, that's when you really find the, the holes in the defense, and you see that there for Spring Mills. Sir, for Spring Mills is an ace by Alyssa Ryder. Martinsburg still leads, but Spring Mills chipping away. The score is 5-3. to three. A great effort there by Martinsburg, but couldn't uh, dig it out after pretty good placement as well. Another serve for Ryder. This one going to go to the back line, hitting it as Holman and having to go away from it. A free ball sent over by Brunegar. Ball set by Parsley. Stevens sets it over. It goes to the back. Saving it is Holman. A deep free ball now by Martinsburg. Can Spring Mills capitalize? A Fobu to Brunegar. Marple sets it for Bishop off the block. Stays on Martinsburg's side. Bishop recovers. Marple sends it to Avery Bishop. She's going to send it over. Free ball. Skyler Bishop recovers. Ray to Avery Bishop. Goes off the block. Point Martinsburg, 6-3. Well, there you see one of those really intense, intense volleys between these two EPAC schools and Avery Bishop with kind of a soft touch. You know, a lot of times... You go for those hard spikes, and you think those are the only way to get points, but sometimes that soft touch and correct placement can also be really effective, especially when the defense isn't expecting it. Skyler Bishop serve, and right off Ofobu getting the kill for Martinsburg was Jadalyn Joseph just waiting for that ball to come right back and hit it down with authority. Seven to three is the score. Skyler Bishop to Ofobu. Fobu almost had it blocked by Ray. It goes quickly back over to Spring Mill side and out. Cardinals get the point. It's seven to four. Fobu's doing a great job at the net, really uh, putting the pressure on Martinsburg. She's counted for at least two of their points so far for Spring Mills. Martinsburg still leads. Samantha Stevens serving for Spring Mills, who trails by three. And that one going way out into the student section. Martinsburg gets an easy point there. They now lead eight to four. Substitute coming in, Joseph. Out entering the game is Vols, and if I remember correctly, she typically comes in to serve, and she does. It's a uh, unique kind of skill set where you bring on a player mainly just for serving. Ball serve at a Fobu, set up, and a kill. By Kane goes far and out. A point goes to Martinsburg. They now lead nine to four. So you bring her on, and obviously this is your chance now. You know you have a lot of confidence in her to get, get you some good serves. So Martinsburg looking to go on a run here in set one. Balls spins the ball in her hand. Her sets away, going to the back for a goal yard. Afobu tips it over the two blocks. Coming in on it is Brinegar. Back to the Spring Mills side now. Afobu just has to bump it back over. Vols sets it for Marple, and Marple wasn't ready for it. She says, my fault. Spring Mills gets the point after that error. Scores 9-5. to five. Martinsburg leads the Cardinals. And Afobu serving for Spring Mills. Her serve directed to Holbin. Avery Bishop recovers it from Martinsburg. Coming up and trying to get the kill. Didn't see a tip, so the point goes to Martinsburg due to Corus Shaw's spike going too far. 10-5 to five to score. The Bulldogs lead the Cardinals. Avery Bishop to serve. Hits it to Bolliard. He's going up and over. Tip back over for Fennel. Getting that point is Spring Mills, making it 10 to six. A great effort by Avery Bishop, but she couldn't dig that one out. Another good ball placement by Spring Mills to get that point and cut into that lead, making it a 10-6 ball game, as you mentioned, Colin. The score is now 10 to six, and that's actually a uh, Number eight for Spring Mills to serve, and I don't have a eight on my roster that I was given to me, so I'll try to uh, 
figure out who it is as Spring Mills gets the point. It's now 10-7. Spring Mills serves to the Martinsburg side. Berniger for Voss to Fennel. Fennel, I thought that was in. It is. Martinsburg gets the point 11 to 7. Yeah, and that starts with the great dig uh, by Berniger. She sets it up. She's been great as the libero uh, for Martinsburg. Able to dig that one out and then a nice setup. And as you saw, uh, a good finish as well. Goes out of bounds, so three points spring goes. Makes it 11 to 8 now, and serving for the Cardinals is Ariana Parsley. Parsley serves this one to the Martinsburg side. Bishop, balls, heading it over. Skyler Bishop to Ofobu. Parsley. Gets it over, it goes into the ceiling. Balls unable to recover it. Point Spring Mills, that's always tough. Bouncing around in the rafters to see exactly where it's gonna fall, making the score 11 to nine. Martinsburg still leads Spring Mills in set number one. Yeah, it's extremely difficult to play those balls uh, when they get misplayed and end up in the ceiling. So kind of just gotta pretty much give Spring Mills the point at that point, but then a service error gives it right back to Martinsburg. It looked like Ariana Parsley was trying to put some more uh, pace to that one and just didn't have the height enough, making it 12 to 9 Martinsburg. Serving again for the Bulldogs is Sophie Marple. Goes all the way and makes that serve out of Fobu. Coming up and setting it as Parsley. The kill by Stevens goes out near Martinsburg's bench. Point Bulldogs 13 to 9 is the score. That one was really close to that yeah. line, but the official was right there to make the call. It was a close play, as you mentioned. Tried to get it in there, but couldn't quite. Marble serve to the back for Spring Mills. Stevens comes up. Roofed by Joseph and Skyler Bishop, 14-9. Brings some job. more life and energy to that Martinsburg Bulldog bench and team. Yeah, great job combining on the block there by Joseph and Bishop, both of them getting great, good elevation on their leap and, and perfect timing. Marple serves it, diving to Spring Mills. He's tipping it up over the block. Sneaky play there by Sh Ryder gets the point for Spring Mills. 14 to 10, Martinsburg still leads Spring Mills to serve. So far, Colin, this is pretty much what we expected, pretty back and forth, you know, both teams feeling each other out early on to see who's going to have the advantage. Point Martinsburg as the ball goes off the net. It's now 15 to 10. Martinsburg leads. It'll be Fennel to serve once the ball gets recovered from the opposite end of the court. Yeah, Simmons, Simmons couldn't, Stevens, excuse me, couldn't quite, you know, play it there at the net. And just missed time the ball and ended up into the and onto the Spring Mill side. Coming in on it is Parsley. Ofobu jumps up and tries to get the kill. Goes off the net. Another error by Spring Mills. Point Martinsburg, 16 to 10. A timeout's called. We'll take the 30-second break with them. This is West Virginia High School Volleyball on WRNR TV, Comcast Channel 10, and WRNR TV on YouTube. When it comes to breast cancer, early detection is the key. During the month of October, WVU Medicine Berkeley Medical Center and Jefferson Medical Center will offer 3D mammogram screening clinics to women 40 and older on select Saturdays at our Women's Imaging Centers in Ranson and Spring Mills for just $60. This discounted fee helps patients who haven't met their deductible, whose insurance doesn't include one with an annual exam, or for those with no insurance. Schedule your 3D mammogram today. Call WVU Medicine at 1-844-802-2734. Option two. Too. It's a bad mistake. <laughs> it is, but we'll be okay. Welcome back here to the Martinsburg Field House. Score is 16 to 10. Martinsburg leads. Still trying to uh, figure out who number eight is for Spring Mills. I know probably some of you heard the uh, end of our conversation. Apologize to everybody there. Ava Campbell. There we go. I think that's the JV one still. Trying to figure it out for varsity. Unless she plays both. But I don't believe so. I don't believe so either. That point, point goes to 
Martinsburg making it 17 to 10. Kind of an interesting situation there. It looked like Sprint Bills was trying to maybe play it off the foot because of how the ball bounced to them. It's the serve here by Martinsburg and Ace making it 18 to 10 Bulldogs. Errors are really killing Spring Bills. And, uh, that's another one there doing Martinsburg. On the there we go. Number eight is Liz Greenfield. She's played well, though. Yes, she has. The libero in bright red for Spring Mills. It's to the Cardinal side. And they get the point as Alyssa Ryder puts that one down for the Cardinals, making it 18 to 11. Finally, the Spring Mills gets back on the board there after a nice run by Martinsburg, a little... 4-0 run. Ofobu gets it to Parsley. Back to Ofobu. Martinsburg with it. Brinegar. Gets it up for Joseph, who has to send a free ball over to the Spring Mills side. Shaw comes up for it. Ofobu. Hard kill off block. Point Spring Mills, 18 to 12. They still trail by six. But let's see if that gives them some life. Yeah, anytime you can get you know back. He controlled the serve, Colin. That certainly plays to your favor. And this is a chance for Springmills to counter that Martinsburg run. The serve going off Holbin and back over to the Spring Mill side. Ofobu with a kill. Holbin gets that one. Marple sets it up for Bishop. Bishop just out. Point Spring Mills 18 to 13. Still serving for Spring Mills now is Alyssa Ryder. That one's going to go off the net, and Brinegar tried to kick it. A point goes to Spring Mills off the ace, and a timeout called by Martinsburg. Let's take the 30-second break with them. This is West Virginia High School Volleyball on WRNR TV 10, WRNR TV on YouTube. When you've been in a wreck, you're hurting, you're confused, the insurance company's calling you, Insurance companies are not your friend. They have a duty to their shareholders, not to you. That's why you need to call us to make sure that you are maximizing what you are entitled to. We've recovered over $100 million for our clients. Every case is different, no result is guaranteed. But one thing's for sure, we'll treat you like family. to 14 over the Spring Mills Cardinals. Spring Mills, Alyssa Ryder serves it to the Bulldogs. Brenniger set up by Marple to Avery Bishop. Blocked by Spring Mills. In there is Kane and Stevens cutting the lead to three now. Scores 18 to 15. And yeah, the momentum has shifted to the Cardinals all of a sudden after that 4-0 Martinsburg run. It's now a 5-0 Spring Mills run to get this within three. Ryder serve at Brenniger and it's going to go off the inside of her wrists, but saving it was Joseph. Back to the Spring Mill side now. Stevens with an absolute rocket, making it 18 to 16. Life for Spring Mills right now. And Martinsburg tried to slow it down with that timeout. So far, not successful. Yeah, you love the intensity too on both sides. You know, every point just feels so big and they're a great kill by Stevens just, you know, really got her teammates in involved in the uh, excitement. Ryder trying to continue the groove for Spring Mills. Brenniger, Marple up for Skylar Bishop. She's going to tip it over Kane, recovered by Ofobu. Kane and Ofobu almost hit it at the same time. Goes back to Martinsburg. Avery Bishop into the middle of Spring Mills defense. Tip back up. Stevens just has to send a free ball over and hits off the net. Point to Martinsburg. Ends the 6-0 Spring Mills run. Score now 19-16 Martinsburg. And it'll be Skylar Bishop serving. Well, it's been one area where Stevens has kind of struggled a little bit. It's on those softer touches near the net. Joseph with the kill off block. Gets the point for Martinsburg. 20-16 now. They increase the lead to four. Timeout Spring Mills. Let's take the timeout with them. 
30-second break. This is West Virginia High School Volleyball and WRNR TV. Erie Insurance says here's to the grown-ups who move, mortgage, mow, and still bust a move. But does your home insurance still fit? Erie helps you protect the home you've grown into, all at fair prices that are often less than the other guys. So how do you find the right coverage? Magic. Nope. Local independent agents who get to know you like this. Your local Erie agent in Martinsburg is Smallwood and Small Insurance. Get a quote at smallwoodandsmall.com. Erie Insurance. <laughs> Welcome back here to the Martinsburg Fieldhouse, back in action. Point Spring Mills making it 20 to 17. Colin McLaughlin here alongside me is Nick Verzellini. It is Steven serving for Spring Mills, and that one off her hand a little bit wrong. And point goes to Martinsburg, making it 21 to 17. Balls is going to come in and serve for Martinsburg as uh, Joseph tried to hand her the ball. And I think the uh, official didn't see who it was, even though he, he was at the wrong angle. So having to make sure everything's good. So Balls enters the game for Martinsburg. We're four points away from a victory in set number one. Spring Mills needs eight. First one to 25 for those of you that are not the best at math. Ball back up in the air, Brinegar. Over here for Avery Bishop, going to go off the net and to the Spring Mill side, getting the point. It looked like Kane thought it was going to stay on Martinsburg's side, and next thing she knew, it was coming right at her. 22 to 17, Martinsburg those leads. Those are tough to judge, and anytime you get one like that, you know, it's kind of 50 50. You always got to. I guess go for it because you never know. It's kind of like a fumble in football. If you're not certain about it, just, just play it. Ball to Shaw. Back over to the Martinsburg side. Ball sets it for Marple. Goes off the block to the back line of Spring Mills. Back over to Martinsburg side. Bella Ray quickly tips it back over. Gets the point for the Bulldogs who now lead 23-17. to 17. And Another kind of sneaky point for Martinsburg using... The softer touch to get it over the net, opposed to the big, powerful swing, and that results in another point. Is this hit off the net of Spring Mill side, so another point for Martinsburg, making it 24 to 17 now. So your set point. Yep, set point. Can Emily Valls give Martinsburg the set one victory? Everybody gets quiet here in the field house. Ball set. Ball's in the air. Goes at Greenfield. Set up for a faux boo. Is it in? No. Martinsburg wins set one, 25 to 17. Let's take a one minute break and then we'll be back for more action in set number two. This is West Virginia High School Volleyball. WRNR TV, Comcast Channel 10, WRNR TV on YouTube. Football is back, and Apple Valley Chevy Toyota is passing the savings on to you. Get ready to score big with low interest rates, great prices, and a lifetime powertrain warranty. Apple Valley Chevy Toyota has a great selection of new and pre-owned vehicles waiting for you. Don't see what you want on a lot? No worries, it's probably on its way, but hurry in because new Chevys and Toyotas are going out just as fast as they come in. Don't miss out on your deal? Stop in today. Apple Valley Chevy Toyota on Foxcroft app or online at applevalleytoyota.com or applevalleychevy.com. Drive a Miller today. Looking to buy a home in the Eastern Panhandle? Having trouble getting your house sold? Then call Chris Ross and the Milestone Real Estate Group at Keller Williams. A Martinsburg High School graduate, Chris knows the local market and he's proven it as the number one real estate team in West Virginia in 2019. Milestone Real Estate Group at Keller Williams. Phone 304-579-7349 or go to callchrisross.com. Let's celebrate your real estate milestone together. Welcome back inside the Martinsburg Fieldhouse. Colin McLaughlin here alongside me is Nick Verzellini. Our cameramen for this evening are Donald Kinney and John Alderton. Back in the studio is Spencer Dupuis. Well, it's time for set number two. Martinsburg won set number one, 25 to 17 here in varsity action. So they now have the advantage 
As some life in the Martinsburg student section getting ready. Martinsburg, one has improved, two, three, and two. And Spring Mill still searching for its first win of the year. Yeah, had that nice little stretch there, but I think the Spring Mills can just clean up those little errors and not give Martinsburg three points. You know, they could be right there back in this thing, but overall, Martinsburg played a really clean first set, um, and it, it was pretty exciting. You know, a lot of back and forth action. I think both teams are uh, very com are going to be very competitive. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a five set match here, uh, depending on you know how Spring Mills is able to answer here in set two. It look, as it looks like uh, it will be serving for Martinsburg. Should be uh, Sophie Marple, I believe, this time around. As both teams' liberos come into play for Spring Mills, that is Liz Greenfield. And for Martinsburg, it is Madison Brinegar. We wait for the officials to figure everything out. Looks like they're uh, talking with somebody on the uh, Martinsburg bench. Yeah, one of the assistant coaches. Maybe just having a brief little conversation here. I don't know. And just trying to figure everything out as best as they can. They look like they're in media timeout, man. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> what always happens. It always is both teams that come out quickly, ready to go, and then it's just a lot of standing around. I think it might have been, oh, that's what it was. The uh, backline official over here took a bathroom break, so there he's coming back and he's ready, to, ready go to go after that, yeah. When you gotta he, go, you gotta go. Looks like he used uh, yeah, the buddy exactly. system too. You use the buddy system, Nick. <laughs> On the road, you got to man. You never know what could happen out there. So, hey, get lost, go to the bathroom, anything can happen. That's true. Yeah, Sophie Marple on to serve now. Server for the Bulldogs at Ofobu. It backed up and a free ball over to the Martinsburg side. Marple sends it to Skylar Bishop, and she's going to hit it into no man's land for Spring Mills, giving them the 1-0 to zero lead. Yeah, Bishop's been really solid. Both the Bishops have been solid in this match, and right there at the net, able to get the uh, early lead for Martinsburg here in set two. Another serve. This one a hard bullet at Greenfield. That's going to go over by Ofobu. To Joseph now to the back line and out, a point to Spring Mills. Yeah, good opportunity here now for Spring Mills after the point goes uh, to them. So now they'll have service control here, Colin. Yep, Ariana Parsley to serve now for Spring Mills. Marble sets it up for Joseph off the block and gets the point for Martinsburg. They now lead 2-1. to one. Going up for it was Stevens and Ryder went off their hands and over towards Shaw, who was unable to dive and recover it. Yeah, I kind of highlighted it in our pregame that I thought with Spring Mills having a little bit more height that they would win the matchup at the net, but Martinsburg has really uh, countered that and been very effective at the net. Shaw comes in on that one. Afobu with the kill directly at Greenfield into the rafters. Marple able to get a read on it, sends it over to Greenfield for Spring Mills. Shaw just has to send a deep free ball over to Fennel. Marple sets it for Bishop and finds the empty area on the court. Point Martinsburg. Three to one. Well, when Martinsburg gets the Spring Mills defense moving, it's it's really gone in favor of the Bulldogs. And once again, you see that there. They're able to set up their offense. It's a lot like the JV game in that sense. You know, Martinsburg is really getting control of the possession. And Fennell gets an ace for Martinsburg, making it four to one. She hit it just in front of Liz Greenfield. Yeah, put it in a tough spot. Greenfield trying to do her job as the libero and dig it out, but couldn't quite get to it. Another serve by Fennel to Anofobu for Greenfield. Steven sends a free ball over for Bishop. Bumped over by Joseph to the Spring Mill side now. Back to the Martinsburg side. Set up by Marple. 
And that almost looked like a push by Bishop. No call. Shaw sends a kill to the back line. And it goes out of bounds. Point Martinsburg, 5-1 to one they lead. Well, the only point uh, Spring Mills has been able to get on in this set uh, came on the Martinsburg error. Besides that, it's been all Bulldogs here in set two. Another serve here by Amoni Fennel for Martinsburg. Sends it to Spring Mills side and another hit out. Spring Mills calling for a deflection. All the officials disagree. They're not happy with that one. Point Martinsburg making it 6-1. to one. I couldn't tell from up here. I'm not sure about you, Nick. Did you see any tip there on the front line? I didn't, no. But, I mean, you have two officials there right at the net, so you'd think they'd be able to get that call correct. Marple, Berniger over to Avery Bishop from Martinsburg. And she gets it to drop right on that line. Point Martinsburg, 7-1, to one, a 30-second timeout. We'll take it with them. This is West Virginia High School Volleyball on WRNR TV 10 and WRNR TV on YouTube. Hi, I'm Annette McDonald, and I am the designer at Orsini's in Martinsburg, West Virginia. We welcome you into our store to show you a complete line of what we do here. We design your cabinetry, quartz countertops, granite countertops, hardware, anything for the full remodel of your kitchen and your home needs. We also do bathrooms, and we have flooring available too. We make sure that your project with Orsini's is the best in the market. Welcome to Orsini's. Orsini's.com got to cut my hands off. We're back here at, uh, inside the Martinsburg Fieldhouse Varsity Volleyball Action. The Martinsburg Bulldogs right now in set number two up by six against Spring Mills. The score is seven to one. Martinsburg won set number one 25 to 17. As we resume action, Amoni Fennel serves for the Bulldogs. Our serve to the Spring Mills side at Shaw. Coming in is Parsley up and over by Ryder. Ryder with that kill in between Bishop and Brenniger. It's the second point for Spring Mills and the serve now. Advantage Cardinals. Well, even though the Cardinals didn't have the serve, they were still able to move the Martinsburg defense and were effective on the receiving end, and now they have serve control. So hopefully, you know, that was their first point without an error. Uh, so if you're Spring Mills, you're looking to get it going. Joseph to Brenniger sends a free ball over. Spring Mills needs to capitalize on this one to get back in it. They do. Samantha Stevens with the kill, making it 7-3. to three. So far that timeout, successful for Spring Mills. They have two straight points after it. Yeah, definitely. You saw there you know, a great effort by Martinsburg, but Spring Mills kept its composure even though Martinsburg kind of got back into the play and still found a way to find a hole in the defense. Cora Shaw sends it over, and it goes off the net. Marple recovers it to Bishop and caught Spring Mills off guard. They thought that one was going to drop. The Bulldogs get the point. Eight to three is the score. Yeah, you can't have that. I mean, that's a situation where uh, you think it's going to be their point, but Martinsburg, great job by them to stick with it. And you know, then Spring Mills kind of falls asleep on defense. Yeah, you hear it all the time. Play till the whistle blows. And Martinsburg gets another point as that one just drops right at the net. And the Spring Mills Cardinals couldn't get a hand on it. 9-3 is the score. Skyler Bishop, the server for Martinsburg. Is it the Greenfield? It's going to be set up by Parsley for a full boo. And she hits it directly at Marple, who was unable to do anything with it. 9-4. to four. Martinsburg still leads, but Spring Mills got the point. Yeah, when Spring Mills is able to get, you know, its powerful hitters like Stevens and a full boo, you know, good sets and, and set up for the kills, you know, they've been effective. But uh, for the most part, Martinsburg's kind of controlled the serve and, and prevented that from happening. Melissa Ryder serves it now. Jaden Lynn Joseph for the kill for Martinsburg. Miscommunication. Shaw has to send a free ball over. Marple for Ray. And that one just goes out of bounds. Point. Spring Mills. That one was really close to that corner on the near side. Yeah, just a little bit out of bounds there. And, uh, you know, when Ryder served last time, that's when Spring Mills went on that big 5 0 run and the uh, set one. So, see if they can do that again here. Ray hit that one over a Fobu. Opposite side kill opportunity missed. Joseph just has to send it to the middle of Spring Mills and quickly try to reset their offense. Shaw sends a free ball to Martinsburg side. Ray with the kill, 
Dug out by Parsley. Stevens hits it off the net. Point Martinsburg. The score is now 10 to 5. Martinsburg leads Spring Mills. It looks like Spring Mills is getting the momentum going. You know, anytime you're able to get some good volleys in a row, you know, you can kind of sense a sh shift of the action. And there we did kind of have that, but uh, you know, Martinsburg was able to respond there and get the point. Now a chance, I think, for them to go on a little bit of a run. Yep, Emily Valls enters the game to serve for Martinsburg. She was really good in that first set. This one just tipped off the net. Spring Mill side, Ofobu hits it at Avery Bishop. Set by Valls, back to Bishop. Over to Spring Mills, Parsley with the set for Ofobu. She gets the kill, it's in, point. Spring Mills, 10-6. They only trail by four. Ofobu's been really good on that uh, far side hitting position. Able to you know, finish off a lot of kills for Spring Mills in this match. Stevens with the serve. That's going to go over and out into the bleachers. So another service error by Spring Mills. Free point for Martinsburg. It's 11 to 6. Avery Bishop going to serve now for Martinsburg after a substitute comes in for the Bulldogs. Entering the game is Amoni Fennel for Kendall Holbin. Official blows the whistle. Served by Bishop. Going to go directly in the middle of Spring Mills for Greenfield. Set up Kane. Right at Valls who misses it on the dive. Point Spring Mills. The score is 11-7 now. Yeah, another hard hit ball by the Cardinals resulting in uh, points for them. And you know, really right back in here at 11-7. But obviously a very important set call. Ofobu serves it at Greenfield. And an ace Spring Mills has two hits. Just couldn't get the passes going for Martinsburg that time. The score is 11 to 8. Yep. Behringer, Behringer couldn't really dig that one out. And not very often do you see that. Kind of a misplay by the Libero. And Bez Ofobu to Fennel. Back over for Marple. Diving forward and getting it is Bullyard. Ofobu directly at Fennel. Hit by Valls back to Fennel now. Goes off the net. And I think that one touched the court. It did. Martinsburg gets the point. Almost looked like a pancake for Bullyard, but it touched the ground first. 12th aids the score. Fennel's been really solid in, in all the areas of the game, whether it be blocks at the net, um, you know, serving the ball, and there on the after the setup, she's been good on kills as well for Martinsburg. Brenniger serves that one and gets the ace as it goes off the net and to the floor, making it 13 to eight. We'll have a substitute enter before another serve by Brenniger. Spring Mills, Maddie McDaniel enters for Ann Ofobu. Fobu, it looks like, has to go uh, out of the gymnasium and get some water. It looked like early before she served, she had some issues. She's uh, one of the players that does wear a uh, face covering on the court. Brenniger serves this one over to Shaw. Back to Shaw now with the kill off the block of Skylar Bishop. Point, Spring Mills, the score is 13-9. A yeah, really competitive set two, just like set one was, as we headed to kind of the, the second half of the set, if you will, as the points get closer to the halfway mark, you know, how are things going to go down here, and how do these teams kind of clutch up and finish off this set? Liz Greenfield serving for Spring Mills. Goes to Fennel, up for Vols, Marple. To the back, off the hands of Bolliard. Spring Mills unable to recover that as it goes all the way back towards the entrance of the gymnasium. Martinsburg gets the point. It's 14 to nine in set number two. Get back into the match. Obviously, she's been really impactful, so you want to get her back in here. Trailing by five. 
Watch this serve, knuckles down. Shaw recovers, Ofobu comes in. Right off the bench, gets the kill. She's hyped, so is Spring Mills. It's 14 to 10. Yeah, that's why you need to get her to get that, that quick drink and get right back on the court because she's been effective, especially when her teammates have been able to set her up and there, another kill for her. Yeah, definitely bringing the A game, like I said in our pregame, one to watch out for was Ofobu for Spring Mills. Parsley serves it. It's going to go off the net. A service error gives the point to Martinsburg. The score is Martinsburg 15, Spring Mills 10. It's going to be Amoni Fennel, who uh, you've mentioned so far, definitely done well so far for Martinsburg, Nick. Yeah, she's done really well, and here she is serving once again. Hits this one to the far side and gets the ace. There you go, 16 to 10, Martinsburg. She's just able to find those pockets of a little bit of weakness in the Spring Mills defense, and they're unable to get a first pass. And that results in the ace. Fennel serves this one at Ofobu, who drops down and gets that one. Sir, or set by Parsley for Shaw, dug out by Fennel. Joseph has to send a deep free ball. And Spring Mills capitalized. Ryder to Marple. Brenniger up for Avery Bishop. She gets the point, 17 to 10 now, Martinsburg. Yeah, really good volley there. Martinsburg has been better on the long volleys than Spring Mills, it seems like. And forcing a timeout. And we'll have to take the 30-second break with them at 17 to 10. This is high school volleyball on WRNR, Comcast Channel 10, and WRNR TV on YouTube. W. Harley Miller Systems understands the need and desire for reliable and affordable smart home solutions. Secure your home with a security system and keep a close eye on your family. Automate your home with a Control 4 system and have smart technology work as one. Set daily schedules to control your thermostats. Push a button and set the mood for dinner by dimming lights and playing music, or just sit back and enjoy a movie in your own home theater. Put decades of experience to work for you. Visit us at whmsystems.com or call 304-350-1931. Welcome back here inside the Martinsburg Fieldhouse. It is high school varsity volleyball action. Colin McLaughlin here alongside me is Nick Verzellini. And our cameramen are John Alderton and Donald Kinney. Back at the studio is Spencer Dupuis. Moni Fennell on to serve for Martinsburg. Spring Mills hits it over back to the Bulldog side. And Marple just hits it to Spring Mills. Greenfield sets it up for Shaw. Shaw's hit back to Martinsburg. Bishop. The Spring Mills side. And blocked. But it went out of bounds. So Spring Mills gets the point, making it 17 to 11. Yeah, it was almost another excellent block by Skyler Bishop at the net. And it still was a good block, but she just didn't put it on the on the right side of the floor after blocking. Cora Shaw serving for Spring Mills. Berniger up for Marple. And that's going to go for a point by Martinsburg. Avery Bishop gets it for the Bulldogs, making it 18 to 11. Definitely successful each time we've seen Avery Bishop get that kill off the block of Spring Mills every time and getting it to direct out of bounds and Spring Mills has had no answer for that so far. Greenfield, tip back over to Martinsburg's side, getting the points of Fobu. She gets it right over the net, making it 18 to 12. Yeah, that's another one of those kind of softer touches and you see that from a player like a Fobu who's known for the big spikes and the, and the harder kills. But there she's able to just kind of Easily get it over. Melissa Ryder serves it for Spring Mills. Bishop from Marple. And that gets blocked and goes out of bounds point Martinsburg. Great play by Jadalyn Joseph. Yeah, I mean, Spring Mills is getting the blocks at the net, but just can't get them to go the right direction for them and resulting in, in points for Martinsburg and now a 19-12 lead here in set two, so a chance to kind of put things away. And, and I mean, obviously a 2-0 lead isn't impossible to come back from, but it, it's very tough. Falls, sets it over. Afobu tried to 
just absolutely drive that one through the court and hit the net instead of Point Martinsburg. 20 to 12, the Bulldogs lead in set number two. Trying to get a 2-0 set lead and Voss serve goes out of play. Point Spring Mills, it's now 20 to 13. Substitute comes in for Spring Mills. Yeah, it seems like this is the uh, crucial point in the ball game for the Cardinals, Colin, is they definitely don't want to give serve back here. And they do. A serve error as Isabel Bolliard came in just to serve, it seemed like, and another service error for Spring Mills. They're shooting themselves in the foot. It's 21 to 13. Yeah, now only four points away from a set two victory is Martinsburg. Up as it's Avery Bishop serving. It's that one to Shaw. It's going to go into the air. Kane pushes that over. Bella Ray readjusts, hits it quickly back over. Deep free ball. Diving and missing it is Avery Bishop. Point Spring Mills. They're trying to get life back into them as they still trail by seven. And that's mostly what it's been. Martinsburg's just able to keep a strong lead. Spring Mills has not been able to really chip away in it, even though it seems like for the majority they're staying in the second set. So Fubu hits it to the back line of Martinsburg. Voss hits it up for Marple. Back to Spring Mills. Ofobu, Parsley, and a free ball over to the backside. Voss gets it. Brinegar hits it up for Marple. She's going to get the kill to the back for Bolliard. And Bella Ray just hits it back down onto the mid logo. Gets the point, making it 22 to 14. Yeah, and early on too, Colin, in this set, you know, Spring Mills was committing a lot of errors, so that kind of put them behind. I believe it was like 7-1 to one to start the set before Spring Mills got its first point that wasn't a Martinsburg error. So, you know, it kind of took them a while to get going, and that's why they still trail here. Brinegar served it. Shaw gets that one. And, wow, oh, they called. It looked like a push-up by Martinsburg. I don't know, but nonetheless, it's a Spring Mills point. I thought that was a great recovery by the Bulldogs, but the officials said otherwise it's 22-15. to 15. It's a great effort either way, but yeah, it doesn't go in Martinsburg's favor. It's Greenfield serving for Spring Mills. That goes right off the net. Almost thought it was going to be another service error. Marple for the back goes way over and out. 22 to 16. Is this the final moment that Spring Mills might be able to come in? We'll see after this 30-second timeout. This is West Virginia High School Volleyball on WRNR TV, Comcast Channel 10, and WRNR TV on YouTube. The right attorney can make all the difference in the outcome of your case. I called Sutton and Janelle, the best lawyers you could ask for. Sutton and Janelle Attorneys at Law. 70 years of collective legal experience, family law, criminal defense, DUI, personal injury, and mediation. Sutton and Janelle got the most favorable outcome I could have expected. Visit Sutton and Janelle's new historic location, 224 West King Street in Martinsburg. Online at suttonandjanelle.com. Sutton and Janelle Attorneys at Law. They value your rights and are passionate about your success. Welcome back to the Martinsburg Fieldhouse. Colin McLaughlin here alongside me is Nick Verzellini. We're in set number two of varsity action between Martinsburg and Spring Mills. Martinsburg leads 22 to 16. Greenfield serving for Spring Mills. Vols for Fennel. Back over to Ofobu. She's going to hit it way out. Gives the point to Martinsburg off the timeout. So successful one there by the Bulldogs, making it 23-16. to 16. That's always what you like to see as a coach. You get that timeout, you break the rhythm of the other team, and you get that serve back. Yeah, and that's a huge situation there to call it. Seems like Spring Mills is getting back into the game, but now Martinsburg has a chance to close this thing out. Now back in the driver's seat on Spring Mills' side, they get the point. 23-17. Wow. I'm trying to remember who it was meeting at the net there. But it was a great play by both of them. And ultimately, Spring Mills got the point on to serve is Ariana Parsley. Parsley serve. Goes to Fennel. Quickly set for Bishop. Greenfield trying to call Fofobu. Fofobu takes it. Shaw sends it to the back. That's going to go out. Set up a set point. For Martinsburg, it's 24-17 to 17 now. And Amoni Fennel, the one who's been 
dominating right now from Martinsburg everywhere on the court and to try to put set number two away. Fennel serve, service error. I'm sorry, Amoni, I uh, have the announcer's drink up here making it 24 to 18. The announcer's jinx. I know a lot of people don't believe in it, but there's evidence on the other side right there. Cora Shaw serving. And that's a service error. Martinsburg wins set number two, 25 to 18. They now have a two set to nothing lead over Spring Mills. They're in the driver's seat as we head to set number three, but not before a one minute break. This is West Virginia High School Volleyball on WRNR Comcast Channel 10 and WRNR TV on YouTube. This is Eric at Hagerstown Ford. Over the last decade, the way we buy things have evolved. Now, you get on your phone, click Want It, and it shows up at your front door. At Hagerstown Ford, it is that convenient. We've changed the car buying experience on the I-81 corridor forever. And with a return policy better than Walmart, there's absolutely no reason to buy a new or used car, truck, or SUV anywhere else. Just like Amazon, Hagerstown Ford will deliver the vehicle to you, where you are, and on your time. And if you don't want it, return it, no questions asked. Why waste your time at a car dealership playing the dumb back-and-forth games? Besides, we hate it more than you do. I assure you, no dealership from Winchester, Virginia to Washington, D.C. will beat our price. No dealership from Chambersburg, Pennsylvania to Baltimore, Maryland will beat our price. And no other dealership will allow you to return it if you don't want it. Hagerstown Ford absolutely provides the best experience at the best price. Visit HagerstownFord.com to schedule your VIP experience. Click on the vehicle you want and get your new ride delivered to you at no risk. See dealer for details. Welcome back to Martinsburg High School. We're inside the Martinsburg Fieldhouse. Colin McLaughlin here for WRNR TV. Alongside me is Nick Verzellini. And our cameramen are John Alderton and Donald Kenny. Back at the studio is Spencer Dupuy. We hope you're enjoying uh, this broadcast and make sure to tune in Friday and Saturday as we'll bring high school and college football definitely excited this friday head down to virginia it's the martinsburg bulldogs take on the highland springs springers and then on saturday shepherd for the third straight time on the road taking on ranked indiana university of pennsylvania so those should be two great games that you do not want to miss so make sure to tune in right here on WRNR Comcast TV 10 and WRNR TV on YouTube. You can also listen to the Martinsburg game on our radio airwaves, WRNR 106.5 FM and 7.40 AM. I know, Nick, you're going to be on the call for that Shepard game. It's going to be a fun one. Shepard right now 2-0 and on the year. Yeah, I think those will be two of the better football games this year uh, that we'll have on our airwaves. Obviously, Martinsburg has a nice challenge down there in Virginia, and I think Shepard of a great ranked matchup with uh, IUP. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to this weekend. But first, we got at least one more set, hopefully more here, Colin, of high school volleyball. Yes, Martinsburg just won set number two, 25 to 18. For those of you just joining us, they now lead two sets to nothing over Spring Mills. So it's either one or go home for Spring Mills now. Martinsburg going to try to put the final touches on a sweep of the evening. They won freshman and JV matches two sets to nothing. Spring Mills serves it over. Marple to Fennel off the block. Bishop tips it back over to Ofobu. Parsley up for Shaw, and she gets blocked by Bishop and Marple. Martinsburg takes the first point of set number three. Yeah, Skylar Bishop really all night at the net has just been winning the matchup against the Spring Mills front line, and she's pretty much you know been the main person at the net for Martinsburg, making a lot of big blocks. Marple serves at the greenfield. Ofobu for Stevens, and she's just going to hit that up and miss hit it. Point Martinsburg, two to nothing they lead. Didn't really see exactly what it was there for Stevens if she just had the steps wrong or just miss swung, but nonetheless, it's a point Martinsburg. And a ace here now by the Bulldogs, making it three to nothing. Spring Mills just trying not to fall apart right now. Here comes another serve by Sophie Marple. It's a bullet to Greenfield. And Bishop just going to hit that one down, making it 4-0. Martinsburg 
continues to be in the driver's seat. Yeah, these quick starts for Martinsburg, especially here in sets uh, two and three, have been huge comparing to what went down in uh, set one, which was kind of back and forth. Martinsburg came out in sets two and three and just taking advantage and taking control early. Ryder hits that one off the net. Another point, Martinsburg. Let's see what Coach Wolf does for Spring Mills as they already trail two sets to nothing. Here in set three, already down five nothing is not what you wanted to see at all. Skylar Bishop again, Colin, just blocking at the net, doing a great job. Marple to Greenfield, set by Parsley, and that's going to be in no man's land. Nobody goes in for it. Six nothing now. Martinsburg leads, and Spring Mills calls the timeout. Let's take a 30 second break as well. This is West Virginia High School Volleyball on WRNR TV and WRNR TV on YouTube. The Palace Lounge in Martinsburg offers hand-cut, locally sourced steaks, fresh seafood, and sandwiches with great daily specials like 75-cent wings all day Monday, prime rib on Tuesday, New York strip on Wednesday, and chef specials every Friday and Saturday. Ask for the lunch punch card and have lunch on the Palace Lounge on Edwin Miller Boulevard. And don't forget the Big Apple Lounge on Sater Drive in Inwood. Welcome back here to the Martinsburg Field House. Score is six to nothing. Martinsburg right now just absolutely dominating Spring Mills here in set three. Spring Mills just called the timeout though, so we'll see if they are able to make any uh, ch ch changes and get back in this one. Yeah, last set started off seven to one Martinsburg. This set starting off six one Mar or six nothing Martinsburg. So. Spring Mills getting off the slow starts. Make that seven to nothing as the hit by Alyssa Ryder was unable to get over the net. And this is definitely different compared to the uh, other two sets that we saw as Spring Mills was hanging around for the most part in those as Greenfield slides and gets this one. Brinegar for Marple. Fennel off the block and that's gonna go out eight nothing now. Martinsburg continues to dominate here in set number three against Spring Mills. This is a very impressive run. Not very often do you see a team execute this well for this many points in a row. Marple hits it over to Spring Mills. Samantha Stevens bumps that over to the opposite side for Shaw. Sends a free ball over. Bishop has to tip that one over. Stevens hits it into the air. Parsley for Shaw. Berniger recovers it, it hits the ceiling. Martinsburg free ball over. That one's gonna get the kill. Point Spring Mills. They finally end the eight to nothing run, making it eight to one. Yeah, I mean, it had to probably end eventually, but you know, another long volley there. You know, Martinsburg really made Spring Mills earn that point. Uh, good job though by the Cardinals to finally get on the board here and maybe they can start a rally. Marple for Joseph. It gets blocked by Stevens and Ryder. So Spring Mills gets a second straight point. It scores now 8-2. to two. See if the Cardinals can start a streak of their own. Cora Shaw to serve for Spring Mills. It's it at Fennel and gets the ace 8-3 to three now. Spring Mills continues to slowly crawl back into this one. Yeah, it can start, too, with, with defense. And we saw there at the net, you know, a good play. And then uh, giving your your server confidence, get her going on a run. And then once that starts, you know, volleyball can quickly shift momentum. Berniger now with it. Joseph hits it for Shaw. Parsley sets it up for a Fobu. It goes off the block and out. Another point for Spring Mills. It's now 8-4. to four. So you wonder maybe when Coach Nelson... Tries to get a timeout and, and kind of mess with the Spring Mills momentum as the Cardinals working their way back now. 10-8-4, uh, just trailing by four here. Bishop sends a free ball to Spring Mills side. Greenfield calls everybody off. Gets it to Ofobu. Ofobu hits it at Bishop. Brinegar recovers it. And Joseph has to send a very deep free ball back over to the Spring Mills side. Coming in on it and tipping it to Stevens. Marple for Fennel. 
She hits it at Greenfield, who just puts her hands up and hits it to the back. Another free ball, this time by Spring Mills. Martinsburg going to try to capitalize. Skyler Bishop off the block. It goes out. Martinsburg gets the point. It's 9-4. to four. Yeah, that all started with a great effort by the Martinsburg defense, bringing, bringing her in particular, chasing down that ball, keeping it alive after Afobu pretty much had a point. And, uh, you know, Martinsburg recovers and keeps the effort going and then eventually gets back on the board. Back over to the Spring Mill side. Ofobu just taps it over. It goes off the net almost quickly down, but Joseph recovers. Bishop off the block. It's going to go to the ground. Another point. Martinsburg gets 10 to 4 now. Fennel to serve for the Bulldogs. Her serve. Greenfield comes in for Ryder. Tips it over to the middle. Joseph. From Skyler Bishop, almost looked like she touched the net. No call. Free ball over by Spring Mills. Marple up for Skyler Bishop. That one, the ball hits the net this time. Goes into the air of Fobu at Avery Bishop. Marple for Bishop. She thought that Brenniger was going to come in on it and quickly had to hit it. It goes off the net. Point Spring Mills. Yeah, and then that kind of messed with the timing and had her have kind of a weird jump there, so she just had to hit it and hit it right into the net. Yep, communication is key. So it's now 10-5, to 5, Spring Mills trails Martinsburg in set number three. And the service error yet again by Spring Mills. The story of the night so far for the Cardinals makes it 11-5, to 5, Martinsburg. Yeah, a lot of errors, whether it come on the serve or not, uh, you know, had some blocks not go their way as well for Spring Mills. Parsley sets it up for Stevens. She swings all the way back, tried to get that one, and goes off the ceiling here by Martinsburg. Bishop hits it over. It goes towards the Spring Mills bench. Point Martinsburg. It's 12-5. to five. Skyler Bishop serving for Martinsburg. Bishop hits that one back. It just goes out. Looks like a point for Spring Mills, making it 12 to 6, and it's going to be Samantha Stevens serving. Never mind, she's going to get subbed out. Isabel Bolliard will come in and serve for Spring Mills. It makes sense uh, to go with a probably better server here in this situation, down by 6. Her serve has a bit of a backspin and makes it over the net. And the hit by Joseph going to go out, giving the point to Spring Mills. It's 12 to 7. And again, Colin, this, this reminds me of that last set where Martinsburg got off to the hot start and Spring Mills tried to climb back. The so serve just out, making it 13 to 7 now. Because volleyball is a sport where it's really hard to come back. You know, if you get down six, seven, eight points. It's not impossible, but it's tough to do. And right now, you know, Spring Mills is in that situation, also down two sets in the match. And it's Vol's serve here, goes out. So back-to-back -back service errors, gives the point to Spring Mills. It's now 13 to eight. So after Martinsburg started with an eight to zero lead here in set number one, Spring Mills has uh, got it back to within five. So Fobu. Sends that over. Ray, absolute bullet, and it went out. So making it 13 to 9 now. Spring Mills only trails by four. Yeah, Martinsburg just missing on back-to-back -back points here, and Spring Mills right back in it. Alfobu for Holbin. Bishop comes in on it. Off the block, gets the point. It was tipped at the net. The score is now 15 to 9, Martinsburg. Yeah, I mean, typically you don't want the Excuse ball me, to 14 to nine. hit the net, but you know, usually when it does hit the net and gets on the other side of the court, that's probably the toughest ball to play in volleyball. Avery Bishop serves it at Greenfield, trying to die for it. Was Parsley off the poor pass by Greenfield? Goes down an ace for Martinsburg, 15 to nine now. Ball recovered by Greenfield. Back over to the Martinsburg side. It's still Avery Bishop, the server for Martinsburg. It's 
Martinsburg is 10 points away from a sweep. Parsley for Shaw. Shaw swings back on it. Bishop gets it. Voss has to hit it over. And coming in at the net is Shaw. She gets the point for Spring Mills, making it 15 to 10. Well, Spring Mills has really battled after that slow start here in set three. You know, got behind eight nothing as we mentioned, but since then, you know, 10 to seven, fair the Cardinals. Well, is Greenfield the server for Spring Mills? Our serve at Fennel. Fennel just hits it directly into the air. Valls does as well. Coming in on it. It goes off the block. Point for Martinsburg. Avery Bishop gets it for him. Almost looked for a split second that that uh, was a successful block by Spring Mills. But it came down below the net on the Martinsburg side. So it's 16 to 10. Berniger serves it for Ofobu. Parsley just tips it over, and that was a sneaky move by her to get the point for Spring Mills. Yeah, the Martinsburg defense has kind of shifted toward the left, and she just kind of found a little spot there in the middle to, to place that ball and, and get the point. Yeah, but it looked like she was going to just give a little set to a teammate. Next thing you knew, she shifted her body and just pushed it over. She now serves, and Parsley serve goes over for Avery Bishop. Fennel off the block, goes into the defense of Spring Mills, bounces around, point Bulldogs, it's 17 to 11. Well, we might have had a timeout there, but. No, but it's a substitution as uh, Vols exits and entering the game is Jadalyn Joseph. Serving now is Sophie Marple. She's the one that started the 8 0 run at the beginning of set number three for Martinsburg. Yeah, she did a great job earlier. Has a chance to kind of close this thing out. Serve back over the Martinsburg side now. Avery Bishop calls off Marple. Fennel has to send it over at a Fobu. She sets herself for Parsley. A Fobu back hits it over to the back, and that's going to go out. Point Martinsburg. It's 18 to 11. And the final timeout called by Spring Mills. Let's take the 30-second break with them. This is West Virginia High School Volleyball on WRNR TV 10, WRNR TV on YouTube. Home helpers of the Eastern Panhandle making life easier for you, your family, and especially your loved one who needs care. Locally owned, you can trust their professionally trained staff to provide the best possible care, allowing your loved one to remain where they're happiest, in their home. From a few hours to 24-7 service, they'll work with you to develop a custom plan to best meet your needs, including meal prep, light housekeeping, and transportation. Call 304-433-8000 or visit homehelpershomecare.com slash panhandle or visit them on Edwin Miller Boulevard in Martinsburg. Each office independently owned and operated. Welcome back here to the Martinsburg Fieldhouse. It is 18 to 11. Martinsburg still in the driver's seat against Spring Mills. They lead two sets to nothing, trying to put the final nail in the coffin. Seven points away from victory tonight. Spring Mills trying to stay alive and get their first win of the season. Marple serves it at Ofobu. Coming in is Stevens. She hits it at Brinegar, who covers that one for Martinsburg. Hits that one back to Spring Mills. Ofobu. Parsley for Ryder, and Ryder gets the point for Spring Mills. It's 18 to 12. Alyssa Ryder just found the pocket right in the middle of all the Martinsburg defenders. Puts Spring Mills within six in set number three. Yeah, Ryder's been really solid in this game, you know, finding her spots and uh, placing the ball in good places. Cora Shaw with a hard serve back over. Skylar Bishop gets it off the block of Alyssa Ryder. Gives the point to Martinsburg. It's 19 to 12. Yeah, Bishop was on the bench for a little bit there. Uh, Martinsburg stayed strong without her, but you know, having her back out there on the court, she really gives you that that kill ability and that spike ability that they kind of lack without her. Moni Fennel on to serve for Martinsburg. Her serve makes it over the net out of Fobu. Parsley sets it for a faux boost. She's going to tip it at Avery Bishop. Back on the Martinsburg side now. Joseph has to send it over for a free ball. Spring Mills. Parsley up into the air for Shaw. She's going to get it just inside past Berniger. Point. Spring Mills. Making it 19-13. to 13. Substitute comes in. It is Gracie Kane entering for 
Liz Greenfield on Spring Mills. Alyssa Ryder on to serve for the Cardinals as well. Her serve going back directly at Kendall Holbin, who just entered, I believe, from Martinsburg. Yeah. Parsley back up here for Steven. She had to reach all the way back for that one. Still able to hit it. Gets the point. It's 19-14. to 14. Spring Mills knocking on the door, only down by five right now. Are they going to be able to come back, or is Martinsburg going to pull away and get the sweep? We'll see. Alyssa Ryder serving for the Cardinals. Well, they definitely won't quit, Colin. They'll continue to stick around and fight as this set goes on and this match goes on. This serve just goes out over the head of Holbin, and she ducked for it, so got lucky there because, as you always remember, for those of you that typically uh, watch our broadcasts, my other broadcast partner that's typically here, Jim Klein, says make sure your foot all the way goes to that line to make sure it goes out as Gracie Kane tries to get that one, but it's blocked by Ray and Joseph. Another point for Martinsburg. It is 21 to 14 now. Four more points for Martinsburg, and they improve to three and two. And would be a three-game winning streak. That is true as well. Bishop serve in over on Martinsburg's side. Bella Ray gets the point just inside there, making it 22 to 14. Martinsburg has some life. A crowd still in it as well. Let's see if they can keep. Martinsburg's streak going. Skyler Bishop on to serve. Over the net to Spring Mill side. Parsley for Gracie Kane. She's going to push that one over to the middle of the court on Martinsburg's side. Bishop for Joseph. Greenfield up by Parsley. Ofobu hits it to the opposite side. Bishop recovers. Marple for Holbin. Back to the Spring Mill side. Parsley sets it behind her for Stevens, and that's going to go over and out of play. Another point for Martinsburg. It's now 23-14. to 14. Martinsburg leads Spring Mills in set number three. Yeah, the error hurting Spring Mills there. Uh, trying to get it on that back line, but just too much power behind it. Parsley for a Fobu. That one goes out as well. So back-to-back -back kill opportunities for Spring Mills. Goes out of bounds. One more point. You can hear the chant here in the Martinsburg Fieldhouse. That's all the Bulldogs need for victory. Served by Bishop. Over to the Spring Mill side. Gracie Kane hits it. It's going to go off the block. Recovering it. Going into the Spring Mills bench. Almost diving for it was Bishop. Decided to call it off. Point goes to the Cardinals. It's 24-15. to 15. So Spring Mill survives for now. Yeah, not over yet. Samantha Stevens on to serve. It's into the air. That's going to go over to Avery Bishop. Bella Ray. Miss hits it. It goes out of bounds. Another point for Spring Mills. They continue to survive here in set three. It's 24 to 16. Yeah, the right idea there, but just couldn't quite get it in. Stevens back to serve again. Trying to make sure that Martinsburg cannot end this yet. Her serve directly at Holbin. Brenniger hits it high into the air. Bishop calls it off. Stevens dives for it, recovers it. Gracie Kane pushes that over into the middle. Avery Bishop, Marple, Bell Ray for the win. Blocked, recovered. Bishop to the back. No! Another point. Spring Mills, 24 to 17. What a comeback this could be. Yeah, they're starting to build some momentum here. Martinsburg just missed hitting balls and can't quite get it in the field of play. Samantha Stevens with another serve. This one at Avery Bishop. Marple back to Bishop. Stevens gets the dig. Shaw. Kane sends a deep free ball. It's out. Martinsburg comes away with the victory. 25 to 17 in set three. They sweep the entire evening. Freshman, JV, and varsity all go to the Martinsburg Bulldogs. Yeah, very impressive, Colin. A, a nice night for Martinsburg. Uh, getting another EPAC win here. Now three straight wins for the Bulldogs as well. So this team started to put it together here, and it, it's in the right part of the season to put it together as you know we enter the EPAC stretch here, and, and Martinsburg's looking really solid. Let's take a two-minute break, and then we'll come back for the post-game show. This is High School Volleyball on WRNR-TV and WRNR-TV Comcast Channel 10. 
When will I be able to retire? How do I make the most of the money I have? How do I leave a lasting legacy to my loved ones? I'm Philip McCoy, financial advisor with the Marius Group, a private wealth advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services Incorporated. Call us today at 304-263-4343 to help you make the most of your financial future. Our office is located at 1270 Winchester Avenue, Martinsburg, West Virginia. Ameriprise Financial Services Incorporated, member FINRA and SIPC. W. Harley Miller Systems understands the need and desire for reliable and affordable smart home solutions. Secure your home with a security system and keep a close eye on your family. Automate your home with a control force system and have smart technology work as one. Set daily schedules to control your thermostats. Push a button and set the mood for dinner by dimming lights and playing music. Or just sit back and enjoy a movie in your own home theater. Put decades of experience to work for you. Visit us at whmsystems.com or call 304-350-1931. This is Eric at Hagerstown Ford. Over the last decade, the way we buy things have evolved. Now, you get on your phone, click Want It, and it shows up at your front door. At Hagerstown Ford, it is that convenient. We've changed the car buying experience on the I-81 corridor forever. And with a return policy better than Walmart, there's absolutely no reason to buy a newer used car, truck, or SUV anywhere else. Just like Amazon, Hagerstown Ford will deliver the vehicle to you, where you are, and on your time. And if you don't want it, return it, no questions asked. Why waste your time at a car dealership playing the dumb back-and-forth games? Besides, we hate it more than you do. I assure you, no dealership from Winchester, Virginia to Washington, D.C. will beat our price. No dealership from Chambersburg, Pennsylvania to Baltimore, Maryland will beat our price. And no other dealership will allow you to return it if you don't want it. Hagerstown Ford absolutely provides the best experience at the best price. Visit HagerstownFord.com to schedule your VIP experience. Click on the vehicle you want and get your new ride delivered to you at no risk. See dealer for details. Welcome back to the Martinsburg Fieldhouse. Colin McLaughlin here alongside me is Nick Verzellini, our cameraman for this evening, Donald Kinney, and John Alderton back at the studio, Spencer Dupuis. Well, all done here tonight. Martinsburg wins varsity matchup. Three sets to nothing over Spring Mills. Set number one, 25 to 17. Set number two, 25 to 18. And then set number three, 25 to 17. So Martinsburg improves to three and two overall, two and one in the EPAC play. Spring Mills now falls to 0 and 5 overall, 0 and 3 in EPAC play. Nick, definitely a tough one to swallow for Spring Mills because at moments they look like they could hang with a Martinsburg, and then at other moments, it looked like Martinsburg was clearly the uh, better team, and if you look at the score and how it ended, it also agrees. Yeah, I'd say Spring Mills definitely has some talent, but it put itself in a lot of situations where you know they it would get behind, you know, eight nothing to start a set there in set three, uh, seven one to start set two, so you know Spring Mills just continued to find itself behind in these matchups and. And had to rally back, and anytime you do that, you know it's going to be tough to win. But I, I do see some talent on this roster, and I, I think you know as they clean up some of those little errors, they'll get some wins here as the season goes on. But I'm, I was also very impressed with Martinsburg. I thought, you know, just looking at the two teams, you saw a lot of height on the Spring Mills side, and Martinsburg still was able to kind of win the battle at the net throughout. Um, and have some really good serves as well. So a pretty talented Martinsburg team. I don't know if they're on Musselman's level, but uh, they certainly uh, seem to be improving, and they'll be one of the better teams in the EPAC this year. Yep, on a positive note, if uh, you want to look at it that way for Spring Mills, this is uh, exactly the same thing that happened last year. Martinsburg won the first matchup last year, three sets to nothing, and then Spring Mills won the second one, three sets to two. So... Maybe we'll see history repeat itself. Let's take another two-minute break, and then we'll come back and wrap things up here from the Martinsburg Fieldhouse. Again, a two-minute break. This is West Virginia High School Volleyball on WRNR Comcast Channel 10 and WRNR TV on YouTube. Nothing's better for celebrating after a tough day on the gridiron than a refreshing beer from the frozen tundra of Rock's Beer Cave. Go ahead. Pour it on, big guy. The beer was for after the game. Sorry, Sorry. Cold beer. Get your rocks cold beer. 
Ever try to collect on an insurance claim? Perhaps a homeowner's claim, auto accident or fire? Insurance companies collect money from you for protection should something bad happen. And when it does, they don't want to pay or they offer too little. At Mansion Ferretti, we have an attorney who worked defending insurance companies and knows all the dirty tricks they play to deny or lowball your claim. Call us today for help in getting what you really deserve. Mansion Ferretti, when you need justice. Let's talk trash, because when it comes to trash, you have options. Panhandle Dumpsters is a local family-owned garbage hauling company serving both residential and commercial customers with weekly trash pickup, dumpster service, yard waste pickup, and bulk pickups, too. Panhandle Dumpsters will give you a free trash can and provide curbside service for just $23 a month. Panhandle Dumpsters features a fleet of quieter, eco-friendly garbage trucks, thereby reducing the noise usually associated with pickup. Switch now and save up to 30%. Call 833-DUMP-STR, panhandledumpsters.com. The excitement of West Virginia high school football is in full swing. Braxton Todd cutting right up the middle. He's into the clear at the 30. It's a foot race down the near side hash mark. Look at Adams catch him from behind as he gets to him, but he breaks the tackle. Braxton Todd gets away and goes in for the score. The 3-0 Martinsburg Bulldogs take on the 2-1 Highland Spring Springers, one of the top teams in Virginia, Friday at 7 p.m. with pregame at 6 following the sports mix at 5 p.m. right here on Talk Radio WRNR and TV 10. Welcome back here to the Martinsburg Field House. This is Colin McLaughlin. Alongside me is Nick Verzellini. Our cameramen are Donald Kinney and John Alderton. Back at the studio is Spencer Dupuy. Well, Martinsburg sweeps the night. Freshman to JV and varsity. Freshman and JV win two sets to nothing over Spring Mills. And the Martinsburg Volleyball Varsity Bulldogs wins three sets to nothing over Spring Mills as well. What a night it was. Definitely some great EPAC volleyball, Nick. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I see now kind of the appeal of varsity volleyball at this level. I, I think there's a lot of good plays on both sides, and uh, I had fun coming. Yeah, I appreciate you uh, grabbing the headset and coming on with me uh, today since Jim Klein was out. Fortunately, for those of you that have uh, seen our schedule that we originally came out with, um. We were originally going to broadcast Thursday's match between Hedgesville and Martinsburg, but uh, unfortunately we have to make some changes and won't be bringing you that game. So we apologize. We'll make sure to talk about how it went on Friday, but nonetheless on our airwaves we will not be bringing you that one. But on Friday we will have the Martinsburg football game as they head down to Virginia to take on Highland Springs. That one will be on our radio airwaves as well as our TV10 and YouTube page as well. And then on Saturday, you get to call the Shepherd Rams game as they head to IUP. That one will only be on TV and YouTube, Nick. Yeah, that will be a fun one. Uh, looking forward to it. Travis Smith and I will have the call. And, of course, uh, that Martinsburg football game. I think it's a very interesting matchup, you know, traveling – down to the Richmond area for Martinsburg, you know, try to get you know, a pretty competitive game out of a pretty good uh, Highland Springs program. So I think really both those football games, you know, should be great games. IUP is a ranked team, so it's two ranked teams in that one in the PSAC. Um, I'm looking forward to what should be a fun weekend, in, uh, especially in the football side of things. Yep, you don't want to miss it. Like to give out a uh – Big thanks to our sponsors as well as uh, Athletic Director at Spring Mills, Mark Salfia, the head coach of Spring Mills, Haley Wolf, and the JV head coach, Taylor Combs, for giving us all of our uh, content so that we're able to broadcast as well. Here at Martinsburg, the Athletic Director, Terrell Davis-Moore, for letting us uh, be able to set up here and broadcast as well as uh, the head coach for the Martinsburg Bulldogs coach Mike Nelson. So thank you everybody for letting us be here. That's going to wrap things up this evening. Again, Martinsburg victorious over Spring Mills for freshman JV and varsity volleyball action. For Spencer Dupuy, John Alderton, Donald Kinney, and Nick Verzellini, this is Colin McLaughlin signing off. This has been High School Volleyball on WRNR TV 10, Comcast Channel 10, and WRNR TV on YouTube. Have a good night, everyone.
concludes our coverage of West Virginia High School Volleyball featuring the Eastern Panhandle Athletic Conference. Tonight's coverage was brought to you by WVU Medicine East, Berkeley and Jefferson Medical Center, Hagerstown Ford, Brown Funeral Homes and Cremations, Robert Fields and Sons, Parsons Ford, Panhandle Dumpsters, and Smallwood and Small Insurance. Keep it tuned to TV10 for all your local high school sports coverage from around the Eastern Panhandle. All rights reserved. It's NCAA Division II football on TV10 as the Shepherd University Rams have a top 25 matchup with IUP. Third down here, third and four. Straight drop back for Bajan. He now rolls out to the right, looking deep down the sideline. A wide open Ryan Beach, and he'll walk in for six. Touchdown, Rams. Join us on Saturday, September 18th, for a matchup between the Rams and the Crimson Hawks. The pregame show begins at 1.30 with kickoff at 2, right here on TV10 and the WRR TV YouTube channel. Football is back, and Apple Valley Chevy Toyota is passing the savings on to you. Get ready to score big with low interest rates, great prices, and a lifetime powertrain warranty. Apple Valley Chevy Toyota has a great selection of new and pre-owned vehicles waiting for you. Don't see what you want on a lot? No worries, it's probably on its way, but hurry in because new Chevys and Toyotas are going out just as fast as they come in. Don't miss out on your deal? Stop in today. Apple Valley Chevy Toyota on Foxcroft out or online at AppleValleyToyota.com or AppleValleyChevy.com. Drive a Miller today. The excitement of West Virginia high school football is in full swing. Braxton Todd cutting right up the middle. He's into the clear at the 30. It's a foot race down the near side hash mark. Look at Adams catch him from behind as he gets to him, but he breaks the tackle. Braxton Todd gets away and goes in for the score. The 3-0 Martinsburg Bulldogs take on the 2-1 Highland Spring Springers, one of the top teams in Virginia, Friday at 7 p.m. with pregame at 6 following the sports mix at 5 p.m. right here on Talk Radio WRNR and TV 10. A reputation for 